everybody, welcome to Echoes of Eternity. Wow, I uh, just glimpsed Anna's incoming desk, her new desk. <laughs> desk of the future. Mm. This thing is, is the best desk I've ever seen. If you can think of anything you wish your desk could do, it pretty much does that. That's no joke. It, uh, I'm pretty sure, has a functioning toilet. Uh, it, <laughs> I didn't want my desk to do that. So you call yeah. you're you're right. It's anything I could think of that I want my desk to do, not that Jesse wants my desk to do. Does it make coffee? No. I heard okay, it tells fine. You, it tells it, it does have checkmate. <laughs> I know you. You guys all you win. But it's a cool. It does have too. a diffuser, an incense diffuser, which is yeah, just and, and an air quality sensor with CO two alarm. Just in wow. case. What is this desk? <laughs> hmm. It's the game changer. That's what it is. Meanwhile, I just noticed, I don't know. Mike, do you have a Stargate behind you? What is that? That's a cat wheel. I still don't know what that just is. Just in case I'm streaming and the cat runs on. It's a big hamster wheel. Those are so cool. I'm super into mm. those. I got one for my cat because he's fat as fuck. And he pushed it over and never went on it. <laughs> And then we gave it away. <laughs> he knew, he knew exactly what my game plan was, dude. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good work. He wasn't having Good any work, of it. Cat. Nothing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, today we have got I don't even know what I'm gonna random to see what your uh events will be, but today we've got something crazy planned. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. This last time. Sam almost died. Last time we almost sure. lost Elago for good. Forever. Elago mm. somehow made it out. I want to let you know that uh, we have a fan art of that, by the way, by the by. What? It's... So at the end of the episode, I here's the thing. I couldn't find everything. I did a cursory search of the internet to find some um, uh fan art that had been made. So I was like, y'all, I'm putting it up at the end of next week. It's happening. And so Excellent. I sent it all over to JP. And um, yeah, so hopefully we'll have a bunch of that. Everything from official art that we have for the show to fun fan things to someone who made Cheezle, which is just everything I could ever want. So that is that is happening. Uh, but yeah, I um, I uh, some good stuff is in store. Anyway, uh, yes, last time Sam almost died a terrible death, but thankfully through the fact that I was lucky enough, um, Jesse, what are you doing? This lady doesn't have any bottoms on. She does, JP. She does. Don't ruin this for me. It's hilarious. Anyway, Anna's like, mm -mm, nope, I cannot be I'm here right now. I'm load up roll 20 so I can see what you guys are looking at. Nothing. Nothing is happening right now. Nothing okay. on roll twenty. Don't worry about I it. I have no idea what you're talking about. Good, good. You will at the end of the show. At the end of the show, you'll be like, "Well, that's hilarious." Okay. Fingers crossed. I I'm ready to tell you that something is hilarious. I'm waiting. That's all. That's all I need is your approval, and I'll be good. Uh, <laughs> okay. So let's do this thing if you would all be so kind as to not do anything quite yet because i have oh, to I almost pushed it go to the i'll just clear the pool right now go and give me your force die pocket on the money just ready pressing buttons mm. a lot of dark side today a lot of dark side today <laughs> dang it well I streak. <laughs> Don't like uh, it. <laughs> no, wrong game. Wrong game. It's all right. I have you about were... 14 roll 20 games. So do I. <laughs> Look, I get it. You don't need to ever question. I, I'm on your side there. Okay. Echoes of Tony. Here we go. Jesse Thanks, needs to laugh like a hut until they leave the planet. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's It's going to happen. That's the whole point of this. Logo, character sheet, 
Raw Destiny. Yeah! Wow. We're just so, I mean, die. this episode ain't about me. I don't care. Hey, yeah, you lucky bitch. Excellent. All right. <laughs> so let's do this thing, shall we? <clears throat> Let the games begin! A meeting with Fatula the Hut goes awry as Dio, Ulago, and Oda and PR3. Oops, <laughs> forgot to include you that I'll hey, edit it later. I don't and blame PR3. You. <laughs> Discover that the Hut gang boss uh, knows their identities, and she intends to hand them over to the Empire unless they complete uh, compete in the Hut's Day's games. With no choice but to compete, in hopes they'll learn the location of Dio's sister on the first light, the team submits to Fatula's demands. Now, they enter the world of underground competition and dangerous sport. Already, Ulago has competed in the scorching heat of the oil wrestling tournament and barely survived. Meanwhile, the rest of the crew searches the hut's palace while waiting their turn. Hmm. Uh, last time, as you remember, the last scene we had was Ilago carrying the uh, sort of barbarian-esque woman, both of them covered in oil and for the most part just wearing like a you know, she's in like a t-shirt and underoos and he is in, I assume whatever it is, his character wears for boxers. Um, and they space, space, space boxes. Yeah. They're kind of like boxer briefs, but just a little tighter. Mm. And, uh, you carried her off because you decided to spare her and you claimed her as your own, which is a thing I guess that is allowed here. Because the huts are fine with that. And you have gone off to wherever it is that beat up guys go. And meanwhile... Uh, wherever it is that winners go. Let's clarify. Well, you're still kind of like a hut slave, kind of? So you don't really have like a winner's circle. I'm a huts champion, and I won. I'm going to VIP. If, uh, let's let's see. Let's, let's roll. Does Fatula see you as a champion? Hmm. Uh, if it is... Five or above, you're a champion. Yeah, Definitely. she thinks you're a champion. She's so she saw the fight and is like, Ooh, batito. <laughs> she saw that you it was amazing. You you somehow lived that la, that fight went on and you beat each other half to death, and she loved okay. it. Yeah. Uh turns out that her winner's circle for champions is just back at the palace. So you begin to walk slowly back to the palace. But the people along the way are cheering for you. They love you. you. Little kids are like, yeah, and they're holding up uh, uh, images of Fatula because you are there representing Fatula. And they, they love you. The children love you. They cheer you on. Thank you. Children. Meanwhile, back in the palace, um, the three of you, Dio, Oda, PR3, have begun snooping around. What, what was the point of your snoop? What are you trying to do? Uh, what were we snooping about again? Everything. Oh yeah, we we're trying to find. Oh, we... oh. yeah, go ahead. We're, we were specifically the whole point of this is to find your sister. So were we looking for her? Did we think she was going to be here? First, we were going to tackle how are we going to get out of this. Oh. No matter what, either we're going to get turned in or we're going <laughs> to. I don't know. Like we were trying to figure out a way to get out of this, weren't we? We're trying to get dirt on Fatula so that we'd have some leverage. Yeah. We also ran into some pikes, so we were probably trying to figure out what they were doing here, too, without being noticed by them. Yeah. All those things. And also, f finding my sister once we're out of this. <laughs> if we have time. <sighs> <laughs> so... So what is what is your number one objective? Like, are you just trying to explore to see what's there, or do you have like an active goal of what you're looking for right now? I'd say the number one objective first is to try and find dirt on Fatula or a way to basically best her once it comes time that you know mm. we the, we've either all won or when she's gonna inevitably turn us in yep. for bounties. Sure, right. That yeah, is so gonna happen. I forgot. She definitely said that she, but she promised. Look, 
She made a hut promise that if you a won the tournament promise. for her, she wouldn't turn you in. Uh -huh. I don't know what the problem is. Is this a face that would lie to you? There's probably is like a galactic this... dictionary definition of hut promise that like just says never fucking <laughs> trust it ever. It's is a colloquialism this... at least. Uh huh. You think this is the face of a hut who would lie to you? No. You know what I did? I do. I do think that. Well, you're probably right. So, before you in this, uh, because this is, imagine like we're turned around now. Behind you is the main um, throne room. And if you remember, the throne room is hundreds of columns to the right and left uh, going off into the distance in sort of like a black void. Like I said, it's kind of like the Mines of Moria and that you don't really know how big the room is, but there was a faded red carpet leading up to a throne made of gold sitting atop uh, sort of a ramp going up to this this throne. It is definitely a throne not made for a hut, even though she tried to squeeze into it right. and, and, and sort of like regale you with her royalty but there's an area behind where she sort of like slithered away to um from this main entrance is a long hallway the hallway that you came in and uh as i mentioned there it's kind of like a poop brown color uh it's not clay it's definitely metal the building's made of metal and it's not rust it's just like it kind of hasn't ever been taken care of maybe like there's an oxidation, but not actual like rusting happening. And there's gold filigree sort of put on top of all that to make it look refined. But all it does <laughs> is seem like someone polished a turd, right? And then you have on like where you're facing towards the entrance, right? It's just a straight hallway towards the entrance. On either side of you are three additional hallways leading in different directions. Um, you see all of her goons moving through the area up and down. But as it stands right now, it is, if I had to draw it for you, it's very simple, but just cause I care. Uh, let me see if I can go to this page and give you a little thingamabobber. It would be like, can you even see this? Hold on. Can you, did I screw this up already? Jesse? I don't see anything. Can you see this right now? This page black screen. Is it is what I'm looking at? Is it all black? Do I have mm. to make you a new screen? I think so. All right, I'll do it. Yeah, even if I zoom Let me out, take you to here. Just ignore oh, that for a hot sec. All right, so on here, we'll change it up. We'll make it black like this. Okay. So anyway, uh, the throne room is like back here, mm -hmm. and the columns are here, right? It's just there's you know more than you can possibly count columns everywhere. The throne is here, like boop, boop. The red carpet's here. And then it does this, and it does this, and then like this. And there's one, two, three, and one, two, three, and then main entrance. And that is the, the palace proper, as far as you're aware. That's what you can see as you move up and down. Uh, the entrance there kind of mm -hmm. looks like a cyclops skeleton um you know maybe that's who once ruled there a giant cyclops and she took it over from it hmm. makes sense it, yeah his name was uh old one-eyed willy and he was a pirate captain really a, really? a space, a space <laughs> pirate <laughs> captain yeah it's a really common cyclops name yeah yeah, yeah. really well he was willy he was william but then non Cyclops saw him and they were like, oh, one eyed Willie. And he's like, you know, it's kind right. of offensive. And they're like, fine, you're the king now. Yeah, it's true. He was the pirate king. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. He's a little master. It's canon. Yeah, it's true. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm the DM. It's canon. It's uh, okay. Don't, don't argue. So you are currently uh, in this main area. I'll put one of you there just so you can have a, an idea of where the group of you are. But uh, we'll stick Oda. That is too damn big. <laughs> I'm Oda. Oda. <laughs> uh, is drawing. We'll go. I think I just drew all over it. But that's fine. So you're like right here exiting the area. And before you can see like ahead of you, you can see the exit. And there are the three paths to each side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Left. Okay. 
Yeah, you begin to move down, and you looked to the left, which would be uh, the right on this. Or are you are Wait. you going stage right or stage left? I Wait, guess did we split question. up, or does that represent all of us? This represents all of you. Okay. Unless you wish to split up. No. Well. Mm, no. Yes. We can <laughs> cover more ground that way. No. <laughs> okay. With the bikes running around, no way we want to sit split up. I suggest we find a security room for possible footage or logs. Also, Fatula is very vain. We could find things hidden in her boudoir. I just want to say boudoir. I, I <laughs> definitely want to see Fatula's boudoir. <laughs> she would have one. Look at her. Yes, she would. Um. Okay. Well, you have on you two... Uh, if you're going to the left, which I assume... Is to the right on the map. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, Oda's left. Our sure. right. What mm -hmm. is the what? Is, which of the paths would you like to choose? The first left. Great. Oh, insisting. You... I want to yeah. wait. 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 Is there oh. a droid pokey thingy in the wall? Ah, yeah. the droid pokey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is, in fact. It's very like it's easy to see. It's, I think I would walk up to right it, there. and I would mm -hmm. like I would tap at it, and I look at PR three. As long as you refer to it by its proper name and not a droid pokey thingy. Just, just do the thing. <sighs> Why was I programmed to sigh? All right, um, <laughs> <laughs> give me a computer check, please. <laughs> really? Okay, I thought you were like computer checking if I could sigh or not. All right, anyway, no. <laughs> Uh, is it programmed in you? Yeah, it looks like you've negated everything. Unfortunately, nothing happens. Nothing at all. Mm, yeah, the you end. tap in and you find, in fact, there's no information. It's almost as if no one actually logs any data. It seems that records and computer systems are neglected around here. No surprise there. Uh, I guess we keep walking. All right. You head down the path, and this hallway uh, extends for a while. You notice that as you go down it, there are more and more ornate sculptures along the walls. It appears as though they've been either purchased or borrowed from other cultures, as none of them are thematic in any way. None of them are similar. They all are different shapes and forms. Everything from humanoid forms to weird animals to very out there uh, modern art. And at the end, you discover a giant room with a big, lush bed in the middle that is flat on the ground. And there are countless pillows, more than you could possibly sit there and count. And in the room, you notice that. There are no dressers. There's no uh, any place to store clothes, but there are many, many clothes on the ground, just like strewn about on the ground. And uh, you can see that there are two spice-addled guards laying in the piles of clothes high out of their minds. Hmm, that is security around here. Hmm. It is Narshada, though. True. It is hot and, days, too. And it's hot day, mm. so of course mm -hmm. everyone's going to be high. <laughs> One of the guards, and I say, let me see your credentials. Uh, will you give me a leadership role, please? If that's if you're going to come at them like, let me see your credentials. No, they are high out of their minds. They don't even mm. acknowledge you. One of them oh. laughs at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this leathery-faced humanoid just cackles at you. It looks like we have free run of the place. Can I try to rifle through their pockets to find their credentials? Um, you can. How are you going to do that? What is the what is what is the way you're going to try and do that? Um, not really sleight of hand because I'm not trying to like hide it. I guess it would be like, I guess skullduggery or d just dexterity or co coordination. I mean, 
Um, yeah, try coordination. Oh, well, I, I guess, are you trying not to be detected? This would be a no, self check. I don't probably. care. They're so high that I'm just, they're probably like, you're just gonna I'm do it. Them. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Give me, let's see how coordinated you are if you can work around their nonsense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You find an they're ID. Like trying to grab it. I'm like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, you pull it off of them, and the guy just looks at you and then laughs at how funny it is. <laughs> and, uh, you have an ID chip in your hand. Um, I give it, it to is, Dio. Yeah, Dio, the chip you get is no bigger than a credit card. I put the credit card in my pocket. Sure. I just figured that might come in handy. Yeah, it might. Good thinking. Yeah. Um. Do you want to do any sort of check to determine what it is useful for? Yeah. Yes. I do, DM Jesse. Thank you. <laughs> Should I use uh, Streetwise? Uh, I think that would suffice for that. You know what's up. No, you know. you know it's important. You just don't know what it's used for in this building. Can I do one as well? Of course. Can yeah, I do you have it? Would, it, would, would it be more mechanics for me? Yeah, if you want to try that. No. Nope. You don't know what it's used for in the building. Hmm. You know it's important because a guard had it, but you don't know what it's used for. I... Let me look. <laughs> yeah, I hold it up. Mm. What role would this be for me? For you? I could it, could it am be, open it to it anything. Computers, mm. because like it opens security. Yeah, but it's not actively the use of computer stuff. Oh, uh, okay. I would say you could use a knowledge skill. Yeah, I think so. A knowledge skill. Yeah. What do you think would work? Mm, I'm just looking at my list here and refreshing my brain. Mm hmm. Um. What would what would blow your mind? Hmm. I mean, honestly, all I'm seeing here is like, uh, I don't know, Underworld? All right, give me an Underworld knowledge check. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Uh. Yes! You recognize this as a card that will allow you access to the security room. This is a card that will allow us access to the security room. I love repeating Ooh. what the DM just said exactly. <laughs> Thanks, pal. <laughs> All right, be... now we just gotta locate that. And I turn to the giggly guys, and I'm like, yo, you know where the security room is? We got a delivery <laughs> for them. Yeah, all, all two of them look at you and then point down the hall. Nice. Oh, I, okay, I go where they point. Yeah. Um, you head down the hall, uh, back the way you came. And you find yourselves back out in the main area uh, with five other hallways to look at. Well, maybe they were pointing straight across. I still go in the direction with which they were pointing. Okay. Hmm. You head straight across. And you find yourselves in a room with... Gotta pull this file up. Oh boy. Oh, he's got files. What can I say? You find yourself in a room that appears to be some sort of storage area for speeder bikes. Um, there are several bikes in front of you and a entrance slash exit out of the complex that appears to be a private one uh, that Fatula probably takes when uh, she needs to leave. You notice that it is the one that's closest to the throne room, probably so she doesn't have to move very far. <laughs> and uh, you see that there's a, a sail barge there that um, is very popular with the huts. It's a giant moving platform, essentially. And then uh, many speeder bikes. Some of the ones that you notice of importance are a um, Utabu 500, which is a, uh, oops, that's the wrong thing. Whoops. Whoops. Ignore that, uh, PR3. That's the race you have to go into later. It's not the, um, the, 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 <laughs> yes, yep. the, um, the speeder bikes you notice are the Incom MVR3 speeder. It's an older style bike back from the days of the Trade Federation. Uh, it looks as old as it probably is. Uh, the Mobquet Flare S swoop. 
and the Tagco Air 2 Swoop are three that you notice and will probably be important and have statistical data later if someone, mainly a droid, entered a race mm. and was forced to race around the streets of Nar Shaddaa. Mm -hmm. You know, that might be important later. Uh, it is a room filled with speeder bikes, but mainly those three models. Uh-huh. Thanks, JP. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> or whoever's writing those notes. Good work. <laughs> nope. Take care. It was me. <laughs> Excellent. Bikes, mm. man. La 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 la. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I'm if, cleared up now. If someone had to do that race. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Do I know which bike I would be using? Well, you can do your research right now if you want instead of waiting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah give me a roll. Do you know, I do you know anything about these bikes? observe these a little closer. You mm. know, since my life depends on it and all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I agree. Hmm. Computers check, you said? Uh, it wouldn't be computers because they're not actively, like, computering oh. it. So wait, what am I doing exactly? Well, to, you're... To cipher. You're Anything? determined. This will be a knowledge check, I would assume. Knowledge, a knowledge check, all right. You gotta say, yeah. like, oh. you know, knowledge. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, if I were you, I would say it's probably a uh, education. I'll go lore, or I'll even take warfare, mm. maybe. Hmm. I'm gonna go lore. Okay. Hit me. Yeah. yeah. All right. So this is what I you know. My brain, though. <laughs> the income speeder. Like I said, it's an older bike from the Trade Federation. It is... Let me see. What did I do with that? Because Jesse is no dummy. I came prepared with things to show. This is the Incom Speeder. Looks like this. Uh, it is... It's an older bike. Mm -hmm. Back from the old Trade Federation days. It looks like this, kind of. And uh, you know... That it is, I just can't imagine you driving this. It's going to be hilarious if you choose this one. Uh, hmm. It's 4.3 meters long. It has a top speed of 120 kilometers per hour. But it does have a double blaster attachment. So these are just the bikes I choose from. This isn't like other contestants. Does that all have to use these bikes too? These are, no, these are the bikes you get to choose from. Oh, okay, cool. Other contestants will have other bikes. I'm sure. Uh, so that's that one. Then... There is the flare, and the flare is commonly known to everyone who played uh, all the fun old oh, yeah, canon like games. That one. There's that one. Uh, it is an older, more falling apart bike. Mm. However, it can get up to 600 kilometers per hour. It's mm. the fastest one here. However, it is the least upkept of all three. Lovely. And then there is the Tagco swoop, which is this one. And I'll move it here in a sec. If it loads to this thing, it's loading now. This Yay. one right here is this. It's a tiny bike. It's mm -hmm. not very big compared to the other two. Uh, the Like I said, the uh, first speeder, the income is 4.3 meters. The flare is three meters. This one is 2.4. Mm -hmm. uh, it is very, very fragile. However, uh, it is it can reach 600 kilometers per hour. Yeah, and know. it has a blaster, one blaster attachment as well. However, it's the most fragile of the three. Ooh. My chat has a great suggestion which is to reverse the steering on all of the bikes that you are not going to use and make them play with inverted controllers and i think <laughs> i want to do that not a I shabby the, idea i think that if the ones i don't choose are just going back into storage because it's not the other contestants that are going to use them right uh these are these are the things you'd have to choose from yeah these yeah, are all yeah. the fatulas i want to that sounds amazing let me just go find the contestants and like go into their homes <laughs> Which is the middle one option? Uh, yeah, that's usually what I imagine they'll choose. But I made mm -hmm. it so there is no middle. Uh, you can either mm -hmm. go very he slow and have me. Yeah, you can either go very slow, you, well slower. You can go 120 kilometers, mm -hmm. but have a blaster. So if anyone gets in front of you, you can just destroy their bike. Mm -hmm. Or you can go super fast with the flare, but you have no weapons. But uh, it is a little more. You know, it's it's beat up, but it can take a beating. 
And then you have the Tagco, which can go fast, has a blaster, but is the weakest of the three. So if you take enough hits, you will go down. Dio, in your mechanical opinion, which one of these vehicles is least likely to result in death? Can I go through and assess each one? Uh, yeah, I mean, you or definitely can. Or can I go can. through and, like, you know, carefully look over each and then and then do an assessment of, like, mechanics-wise? Yeah, of course. Okay. Do I just do it? Yeah, give me a mechanics check. Oh, my God. No. Nope. You know, <laughs> these... You know one thing, Dio. You wouldn't be caught dead racing any of these bikes. Oh, no. I turn around, I go, none of these. And I give my blue dice to whoever rolls next. <laughs> Great. There's no tweaks you can make. Give them a little oomph. Oomph? Yes, oomph. Or oomph. Need... Or dumpity doomph. You need to practice your pronunciate. <laughs> You practice, and uh, before you do, pick one. Which one do you want? Likely the comfortable-looking one with the blaster. Isn't that the one that looks the most dangerous, Jesse? Uh, it no, it's depends. the slowest Which, one. You want the uh, slowest, the 120? Yeah. Mm. So you want this one. Oh, yeah. It looks like I'm the least likely to fall off of that one. Yeah, the one that has like a little tail in the back. Well, didn't you say it'd be hard for him to drive that one, though, Jesse? No, I thought it'd be hilarious. I want to oh, see okay. him said drive it. Would be it. Funny, yeah, yeah. I can okay. imagine a, a a droid driving this, and it would just look weird. That's I'm all. I'm just saying, if we can give it an ace up his sleeve, like some nitrous or something, and then whatever, a one trick, little trick. You can. I have a question. Yes, sir. If we lose, do we cost her money? Because she's obviously betting on us. Great question. I'm sure she will have an answer for you. Hmm. You won her I money, mean, though. So I you're won, up. So I'm, up. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm like yeah, sitting in one up. of those side rooms right now with my competitor, who I guess we're in love. We're in love now, and we're just eating grapes. Unfortunately, you haven't even made it back. You're still making your way through the throngs of people out in the uh, that doesn't sound right. Streets. That doesn't sound right. The streets are they're cheering you on. This is no. this is happening. This is happening while you're competing. Hmm. This is what they were doing while you uh... were while Sam while you were throwing yourself into a ring and being. Emily, right, we don't need to. Okay, we don't need to talk about it anymore. Okay, we know what happened. <laughs> you think we would, you think we would at least have a radio on us so we could hear the progress of it or something? You I was naked. It was trauma. <laughs> yeah, your friends decided to go look at bikes, go bike uh, shopping while you were busy fighting. So that we don't have know. like a like a little like transmitter so we can hear how the fight's going. So like, Looks like Lulago's going to die. Anyway, how about this bike here? You have <laughs> you don't have a clue right now what's going on. <laughs> right. You are totally unawares that Olag is being like bashed in the head mm -hmm. repeatedly and almost died. Was one roll away from death. You don't know. You don't even know that. In our defense, when we were saying he shouldn't go alone, he was like, "This is just a stupid wrestling match. Of course, I'll be That's fine." That's true. Yeah. Leave me alone. That's what made it even better, dude. Because if I'd have just never came back, it would have been such a good ending. Yeah. Oh, I guess he died in the flaming fight sumo wrestling. Sucks to be him. Let's keep going. Well, <laughs> yeah, we didn't like that guy anyway. He was so mysterious. Uh, <laughs> and he kept yelling out some weird name. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you know what? They're together now. Uh, okay, so <laughs> let's <laughs> see what you want to do with this bike. What is your plan here? Are you going to attempt to uh, like fix it up? What are you trying to do? So this one, look, it's the slowest. Does it, and out of all of them, was it like the most stable? Yeah, it's the sturdiest. It has blasters. It's like an actual, it's a bike that was used during the Clone Wars. It's a feder a trade federation bike. It's designed to like go around the battlefield if need, need be. So it can take a few hits. It's slow compared, you know, 120 kilometers per hour is like fast, but not 600 kilometers fast. Uh, I think I turned to Pierre three and say, "Try to get on it." Very well. <laughs> I get on it. I don't know that you do. Will you roll for me? <laughs> I would attempt to. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need you, Pierre three, to roll for me. I'll let you decide. Um, athletics, either <laughs> either athletics or coordination. Coord. Oh God. Uh, coordination has more dice. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, you attempt to get on it, but you have a hard time. Uh, you're like, you have one leg half on. It's like if someone's never gotten on a horse before trying to get on a horse for the first time. I've tried to find a way to, uh, for PR3 to get on and stay on. Like, yeah, okay, either you via, like, like, some sort of, like, let, like, you know, like, a little ledge that you can, like, wheel, uh, put on real quick and then yeah. to, like, yeah. get them to, like, lock in, like, a seatbelt if there isn't one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me a perception check. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah, mm. you see that there are, in fact, plenty of, of contraptions and little stairs and buckles that exist. Uh, turns out not all of Fatula's guards are as fit as some of the <laughs> others. And so when they hop on those bikes, it takes a little more. Um, but yes, they're, they're in the room. You can use them if you need to. Yeah, okay. I think I would do that then. I would start doing that. Sure. I'd you... pull PR3 off of it, and then I would start doing that. Uh, it takes you a minute to do so. And minute, as you do, it? well, uh, relative time. It takes you, it takes you a hot sec to get it done. Uh, as you do that, you hear the gates open, uh, to the main door and you hear a cheer from out in the hall and all the thugs, guards, and various bounty hunters in Fatula's employ begin to cheer. Uh, something has just happened outside in the main hallway. Mm -mm. While you do the, the end. Yeah. Wh while, while you're putting this together, that happens and you complete it and the cheering is still going on. Hmm. Try to get on it this time. <laughs> Here I go. Can I aid him? Can I like spot? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll pull you. I'm going to pull you away and everything. Nope. He's got to get he on. Does, he does have a, he does have a blue die from the previous one, so I will give you that. I forgot to give it to you before, so I'll give you that. I can do this. Coordinate yourself on... Nope, you still cannot do it. I can you, eventually do this. You... At he, some point. You, you try if to raise... keep trying. <laughs> you try to raise your legs up to the stairs that Dio has attached to the side of this hover bike. And uh, you simply cannot lift your legs high enough at the right angles. Like, you can't <laughs> to get up there, and you kind of stumble over yourself, and uh, you, you can't make it. As, as you attempt to do this, you sort of just stop and stare at this bike. Gravity, my greatest How to figure foe. it out. Any thoughts, Dio? Oda, what are you going to try and do? Well, we help him on it. Then he just can't fall off because if he falls off, he's not going to be able to get back on it. Fire. So, did I put the seatbelt on? The seatbelt's there. Like, it's attached. Yeah, you okay. got it. You don't need to worry about that. I'm going to try and help him up. Okay. Yeah. You begin to help PR3 up. Uh, Oda, are you going to help athletics? As in, like, I'm going to help try to like lift him as he's doing this. This is 100% an athletics role for you. Uh, are you going to help? Are you going to help Oda with this? I, I want to watch while they're doing this. And I my goal is to perceive some way that we could either modify the bike so that he can get on and off it easily or like some sort of technique. Like there's a certain way you can get on a horse, you know, like, is there a certain sure. way he can get on the bike and, and know that he'll do it well? Would that be perception? Um, yes, you would perceive that. Okay. Uh, give me, if you'd be so kind, your perception roll and your athletics roll, Dio. <laughs> okay, perfect. I so, gave a blue uh, die to Bikeman. Great. Ooh. I'm going to uh, use the one I just rolled in the best silly way possible. Uh, the scene that I'll set for you right now is that, Oda, you are sitting there staring at uh, a, like, heaving uh, Dio trying to lift PR3 up onto this bike as PR3 is just dead weight complaining the entire time about how uncouth the whole situation is. And you are trying to perceive this. And as 
all this is happening, it's sort of a wide shot, and entering through the door to a crowd cheering behind him is a bloody, beaten, messed up Ulago carrying an oiled, bloody, beaten, random woman you've never seen before. Ilago, you see your friends totally uninterested in anything you've been in, and instead hoisting a droid up onto a speeder bike with all of their might as Oda looks totally confused about what is happening while trying to, like, find a way to make this all make sense. And you enter is the room. The, is the slave girl with me? You still slave have her. She, is the giant warrior with me? Yes. She, you, she's still passed out. You knocked her out. She must be awake by now. We the, the journey all the way back here? Still passed out. She's like, on like your a, shoulder. Slung over, she's slung over my shoulder. She's slung over your shoulder. Yeah. You knocked right. her out. Did, when I came in, did they happen to tell me where like the, the champion's quarters were? There must be some kind of like room where no I can one, just... No one has said anything. You walked in and like were cheering. Uh, everyone was cheering for you. And the crowd just sort of like led you towards Fatula's chamber. Okay. And you happen to see your friends doing this. Okay. Um, Elago's going to pause. And then... Oh, one. And then he's going to keep walking towards the throne room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from behind you, the three of you hear, I won. And then, like... <laughs> I think we were so not worried that he was going to win and like have no idea how tumultuous that was. And we're so focused on this that I'm probably like, good job. Congratulations. And just like, no, who is that? No, tell us who that is. Who's that? Why are you carrying someone? It's my foe. (laughs) Did you claim her? What is going on? No, she's unconscious. Why do you look like sh- and why are you naked? <laughs> look, I had to claim more or they were going to kill her, right? Me and her made a deal, so. Right. And I had to get naked because I was wrestling. Saved my life. Wake her up, maybe? Fact. Maybe wake her up so she can walk? She'll come too soon. He just keeps walking. Okay, we didn't need your help anyway. Bye. <laughs> Good job. Well, what do you want right from me? I'm naked. I mean, I, I'm covered in sweat and flames. Okay, go get a shower and come back. I can't see right now. Is it better that I don't? Yeah, you don't want to see. Mm. Uh, Ilago, you head towards the main throne room and you see uh, before you on the throne is Fatula and she claps her big hut hands together and looks down upon you and it's like, ooh, 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 budabo! And all of the guards and bounty hunters and various courtesans around like essentially just people who are really high around you lift you and her up and begin to carry you off behind the throne and you notice that this area that Fatula has been going to every time she goes behind the throne is like a ramp down under the throne and down there okay. is a big I don't want to say pleasure den but that's kind of what it is there's like dancers and uh, pillows everywhere and people, you know, smoking things that are coming out of like long tubes going into walls and stuff. And like there's people passed out. And at the end, you can see there are some refreshers. Showers uh, at the end. But it's like open to the like everyone and uh, the guards point to it. And they they point to uh, you, and they're like, "There you go, clean up." And then they they ask to take the the woman from you. Um, a guard signals that he's probably going to take her to the uh, back to tank to get healed up. Okay, yeah, he hands her over and heads to the showers, and he's kind of like, "We're talking to you." He's like, "You heard this, Lager? You really did." <laughs> <laughs> you know you've been you know, you put that group on your back the last couple of weeks. This was probably the last straw. You nearly died, so I think you, you know you've earned this. As you talk, as you talk to yourself, and uh, the water sort of washes away the goop and grime and guck on you, you notice that the people cheering behind you haven't stopped. They're still there, like staring at you. You're an impressive victor in the Hut Stays games. They're just watching you take a shower, and they're all just still like cheering and really excited for you. As he's, you he's waving, he's waving as he, as he, 
You know? <laughs> yeah, as as you put on more of a show, more people come to watch you, and the people who are laying on the pillow stand up to see what the hell was going on. And uh, yeah, PR3, you your sensors can detect that there's vibrations coming from beneath you, and it's definitely odd. It sounds like people are cheering beneath you, but you don't know why. Mm -hmm. You just can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you on this damned thing now, or am I still helping? I don't know. You? I'm really concentrating on that. I see. He, he is. You need to roll for me with the. Can you mount this bike? You have even with my athletics. The athletics is giving him that, and you're going to give him a bonus to get up. Okay. Yeah. Is it in? Yeah, it's in. Go for it. Hey. Yes, you finally mount. And you are able to get and on the bike. I really need to get uh, rid of one strain with that. Okay. You you managed to get on the bike, and it, you will fit fine. But uh, once you're seatbelted in, you it, it's it's one of those things where once you're in, you it, if you come out, it's it, you the you know you, it's going to be bad news. Either the either the bike crashes or you have to like I don't know I don't know that you have the the acrobatics to jump off this bike if it were to crash. It's that I kind feel, of thing. I feel very confident that I'm going to die. Well, then don't lose. Oh yes, I forgot. It's that simple. Try plugging in and sing or doing what you do try turning it on i don't know if i'm rocketing towards a solid object i'll just pivot my hips that's not what i'm saying i'm saying get acquainted with it now maybe i can give you some advice to help you in the future i'm getting acquainted with it i rock back and forth slightly <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to walk up and kick the side to rock it even more ah <laughs> it wobbles a little bit more but uh oda from your perspective it's not actually wobbling all that much yeah but pr3 is like uh every old man on like a horse just like slow down stop like that it's, can it's going too fast it's, it's your dad to kill the, me yeah it's your father next to you while you're driving every time it's uh, like, slow down can i uh, okay wait can I try to like inspire him? Like, I want to use like force speak to be like, I would say take a deep breath, but just calm your circuits and <laughs> reach out with your electricity and become one with the bike. In fact, maybe even plug something of yourself into the bike and then perhaps that will help. And I'm just trying to like Is that inspire. A thing? I don't know. She's making it up. She goes, <laughs> okay. She's basically what she's trying to do. Cause this is what, what she would say to like someone who's using the force is like, feel the force flow through you, but he's enjoyed probably can't feel mm -hmm. the force, but mm -hmm. electricity flows through him. Oh, electricity also flows through the bike. Could they merge electricities? Is electricity like the force? <laughs> yeah. She's making it up as she goes. Jesse, is that a thing? <laughs> um, well, let's find out. Uh, give me a roll. What are you going to roll? Oda? What is the, how are you going to make this happen? This is a Is it a leadership role? Turn off sure. Your if you're trying to inspire, it. yes, it's a leadership yeah. role. Yeah. Go for it. Yes, you take some strain yes. because you don't quite believe it yourself. <laughs> that there is some mental the gymnastics thing. there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But PR3, you are inspired by the words of Oda. I will relax. I will do this. Probably. Maybe there is a way that you're like, maybe you can plug your actual like motor functions into the bike. Maybe you can make it an extension of your droid self. I will become one with the bike. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Her speaker system on it too. Before? That's weird. Your vocal projection sounded a little weird there for a second. Yeah. There was a small error. It has been rectified. As you sort of 
you, there's no place to plug into the bike, but for the first time, you feel the whir of your internal motor match the bike's internal motor. And even though it is not in the like drive position, mm-hmm. you, because you're on it and it's hovering, it's on, like it's activated, but it's not, you know, you're not driving forward and you can feel it. it mm-hmm. It's, it's idle matches your idle and you are in the moment of, of feeling this bike. And as you do, we cut down to, uh, Ulago finishing his shower and everyone throws you your clothes, Ulago, and you begin to put them on, even though you're still pretty wounded and beat up, uh, you manage to get dressed. And as you do, a horn sounds, a horn sounds and oh, no. a, uh, tiny humanoid woman, uh, approaches you, Lago, and says, Sir, I believe it's time to gather with your friends. Um, and, like, holds out her hand to drag you along to follow. Lago looks at the party before him and the Twilight Girls and just hangs his shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> they all cheer for you. Yeah! All of them are really excited. And uh, the, the, the tiny humanoid drags you out of the room um dio pr3 oda a rhodian woman approaches the group of you and says it's time to gather with your party <laughs> we got so distracted we never found any dirt <laughs> <laughs> we just oh, we got so distracted with you time. doing this it looked cool <laughs> Yo, what if we get and as as we're like walking back i'm like what if we get inside your head and like recalibrate something so you're not such a chicken <laughs> I don't know that I trust the delicacy of your maneuvers inside of my head. Well, I'd just smack it around a little, you know? I definitely would not trust you inside of my head. Oh, it couldn't do much more harm than you're already doing to yourself right now. I mean, you're mm-hmm. going to get on that and be screaming like a girl the whole time. You might make me a vegetable. Well, you might end up one anyway. Touché. The woman, uh, the, the Rhodian woman looks at you and is like, please, we must go. The horn has sounded. Uh, I don't think what? there's enough time. Okay. She looks at you, PR3, and it's like, Master Droid? As I, still I go up and I try to in. like <laughs> help snap him in and stuff. <laughs> You're going to try and snap him into the, to the bike? I guess I'm oh. going to slide oh, down wait, the wait, hall wait, to wait. the event. And oh, it- I thought he was going to go out through with that i don't know it's what uh, you haven't been told the event yet never mind yeah, was, we don't know. i'm gonna help him us. off the bike then <laughs> which yeah, event what currently is. is up now oh good question the announcement will begin soon master robot master Can't troid hear it from here i'm i'm but a servant sir why don't you go find to out the main the hall please come tell us <laughs> you'll request it immediately <sighs> let's go should I get off this bike or drive it there? <laughs> I want to watch. I just want to watch him try to get off the bike. I'm going to practice and very slowly go forward to, okay. the, to the main hall on this bike. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the, the Dio and Oda begin to walk back towards the hall as PR3 drives a speeder bike down the hallway as slow as possible. Mind you, mm-hmm. he rapidly passes Dio and Oda as he mm-hmm. zooms down the hallway. Mm-hmm. You find yourself, PR3, in the main corridor, um, and above, you can see uh, in the main throne room a giant glowing hologram of a countdown to the next match, mm-hmm. and Fatula is standing there with Ulago in all of his battle armor. Uh, what do you do? I give him his gun back. <clears throat> Cool. He inspects it and then Don't worry, rifles have to it. Use it. Yeah. I just I Who's I up next? Ulago. Yeah. I'm on a bike. <laughs> well, you know, we can't always uh, you know, predict the hand we're dealt. I'd never wrestled like that before, but look at me. A winner. 
You got this. <laughs> Profound. Look at me, a winner. That's the that's the title of the episode. Look <laughs> at me. A winner. <laughs> yeah, until someone the next person loses, which is probably going to be me. Oh, I'm a, losing. Let's face it. A, another horn bursts out in the throne room and the screen above you, the hollow screen turns from the countdown to a reveal. And it says in big bold letters, hut ball. Oh, Isn't that the one where we're all in it? As <laughs> Hutball reveals <laughs> from behind you, you hear a laugh. <laughs> and mm. Cheezel is dressed in all of his furs, two daggers in hand. And he like scooches up next to you and uh, looks at you, Oda, and is like, you fight in that dress, pretty lady? I look down. Do I have any other clothes? I don't have any other clothes with me, right? You had um every. I don't know where you put it. I think you gave it to Dio, all of your, mm. your robes and whatnot. Yeah, I guess I'd be carrying it around. Mm-hmm. Just like I was carrying. Yeah, I'd I am the change pack into that. I don't want to get my. I don't want to get my pretty dress all dirty. Sure. Uh, yeah. He 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 looks at you. He's like, I hold the dress. I'm holding the dress, mm-hmm. and I'll take it. Yeah, and he gives you the meanest stink eye, Dio. Yeah, well, Cheezel, you can have this if we win. Yeah! Yeah! Uh, and he like does a little dance. He does a little tiny dance, like a little oompa dance. And oh uh he, he then uh sharpens his knives and Fatula <laughs> approaches you, Lago, and says, Buta push, ya And PR3, you recognize that to mean join your team. You now all fight for me. What are the rules on being attached to speeder bikes during that ball? <laughs> She looks at you and, and laughs, and then all everyone else laughs at you. And uh, two guards approach you mm-hmm. and just kind of like push you off the bike. Oh man, <laughs> you just clank and fall on the ground. Lago, yeah, I'm on the ground now. <laughs> yes, you are, my friend. Your motivational speech didn't work. It's not about <laughs> the fall. It's about how you get back up, PR3, okay? Take it from me, a winner. Speaking of winning, uh, DM, what? I have a lot, I have a lot of wounds and strain, Mr. DM. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm aware. Uh, Yeah, yeah. I rolled randomly, and it's what we got. We got Hutball. It's not. I didn't do this to you on purpose. We got mm-hmm. Hutball. You know, do, like, you know. Do I get you know a little bit? Did the shower give me some relief? Strain uh, relief. I will say the shower relieved all your strain, but you still have your wounds. Okay. All right. Hey guys, I'm nearly dead. Just want to let everybody know. I 15 wound like a... threshold, and I'm at nine. So let's see. <laughs> let's do this. Wait, wait, wait. Let's do this game. Can I look around and see if there's any like stim packs or anything anywhere? Uh, you are in a or- throne room surrounded by uh, guards and bounty hunters and like drug addicts. The only stim packs you find uh, are filled with like illicit drugs. Ugh. Probably, I mean, probably, I mean, not. <sighs> but I walk up to the bounty hunters, they might have some. Sure. What are you going to do? First, I'm going to perceive, like, if they're a part of anything, like, any any group specifically that I might know. Uh, None of these seem like guild hunters to you. They're definitely Fatula's goons. Ulaga, do we have any money? You got a little bit of money? Well, you're not looking... Looking so good, and maybe one of these hunters is carrying some stim packs. I mean, we Jesse, I mean, hunters might carry stim packs. Uh, I'm just gonna turn around to the room. Does anyone have a stim pack for your champion? Oh, that works too. I forgot you won. Yeah, uh, the 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 group around you sort of looks and cheers, and uh, a bunch of uh, uh, hands raise. And they, you see that they have uh, backed a spray in their hands. Uh, 
and a whole group runs up to you, Ulago, and just begins to spray you with Bacta. Just like in like nice. if you're at a perfume counter at mm. like Macy's, they just start spraying you with Bacta. Ulago um, just like throws his head back. Yeah. And uh let's see. Let's see how this Bacta is gonna work for you. Um we'll see. let me do two things. How is this fun? All right. Uh, you heal five. Okay. Good enough for me, dude. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, with that, the crowd around you parts and Fatula points to the exit. And once again, uh, you see down the uh, long corridor out into the streets, the crowds cheering, except this time the path of the crowd along the sides of the street goes a different direction than you once went before to another part of the city. And the group of you begin to walk uh, down this pathway. Is there anything you're going to do to prepare before you arrive at the arena? Um, I still have a data pad on me, but I can't unlock it. Well, shit. Uh, I want to see. Uh, I want to ask someone if they maybe have some like info on the other team we might be facing. Sure. Some like insider info, like, hey, you, you got to have something on this other team, right? Good idea. Yeah. Um. A group that's walking with you, you could probably turn and ask them. They're probably locals and know a little bit more about what's going on than you. I think I'd, I'd nudge Alago as well since uh, he was the champion. So, <laughs> and uh, Wait, I'd well, walk over. Sorry, uh, Sonny Wilgroffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, come over here real quick. And okay. uh, I look over to the group and I'm like, you wouldn't happen to have any information on the team we're facing, would you? Not that your champion needs any, but you know, teammates are interested. And he's got to keep us alive, you know? Yeah, um, the the crowd that's gathered around Olago signing, uh, or getting autographs signed, uh, one of them mentions to you that, well, they don't know exactly who the other team is, the uh, big team to beat, that like the former champions, are a team that is comprised of an Aqualish, uh, who used to be a former bounty hunter, a Bothan, who used to be a spy for the Empire, a Deveronian fugitive, who uh, is wanted by the Empire but only shows up to Hutball, a human assassin that works for one of the Hut cartels, and a droid of some renown. Hmm. You sound an awful lot like us. Mm, I know, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> not that the champion needs to know, but much appreciated. Mm. Yeah, and the, the group, like, all giggles and sort of walks, like, for being adults, they're all very giddy with the fact that the champion is in Fatula's palace. <laughs> All right. Anything else before we continue to the actual? Is Pure Three? Oh yeah, he's off the bike. Okay, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we get a review from some? Are there any like officials that we could ask to make sure we understand the rules? Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, when you get there, there will definitely be officials with rules. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure. I want to make sure we understand what's allowed and what's not. Because Oda is like carefully tucking her lightsaber away just in case. And also sure. uh, just checking on her stun grenades. She's just trying mm -hmm. to make sure she understands what's allowed here. Yeah. Uh, you could do a, a knowledge check to see what you know about Hutball before you move down there. Probably should access that if I have We it. all sure. should probably check what yeah, we know same. about Hutball. Uh, lore, I assume. Yeah. Can I do 
It doesn't it matter. Be education. It could be education as well. What about hmm. Underworld? Sure. All three of those work. No. Uh, Dial, you never mess with Hutball. But uh, I maybe Oda? heard the name, but I don't know anything about it. Sure. I've watched it's... a ton of Hutball. Yeah, Hutball is a very popular mm-hmm. sport, especially if you are slumming it around with the scoundrels of the galaxy like Oda has been. In PR3, you just know I the... I to learn it in order to have anything in common with my friends, you know? <laughs> they were huge Hutball fans. Yeah. They explained you the rules and everything. Yeah, so here's the thing. You know that Hutball is... Basically, a game where, if I had to describe it to you, it is uh, a game with very limited rules. Anything goes. The objective is to get a ball from the center of the ring and score it in the opponent's goal. First one to three wins. And you can do anything you need to make that objective happen. Is there any rules against death or serious injury? Nope. In fact, that's a strategy to win. If you kill the other team, you can walk all three in easy. Gotcha. So in this fact, is a battle yeah. to the death, really. Uh, maybe some teams just score quickly and they win. Some hmm. teams don't kill on purpose. Uh, because it's not fun to gloat over your victory if someone's still alive, uh, or someone's not alive. They also have, uh, you know, you can injure people. Um, but the arena itself is deadly. You know that every hotball arena is different. Every single one. There are no rules. Some arenas have uh, blow torches. Some have pits with spears in them. Some have uh, like droids that are designed to shoot at you from the side of the arena. They all they're all terrible, terrible things. And those who compete in them usually don't do so because they want to. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. The group of you... (laughs) The group of you begin to head down towards the arena. And you can see it. uh, Ulago, you recognize this to be much larger and much more grand than the arena you came from. And that one was very big. This one hmm. is much bigger. Um, it looks almost top heavy. If it, I'd have to describe the arena. It's kind of like a mushroom and that there's a smaller middle area and then a huge upper area. Um, and you can see that the attendees are going to that upper top part of the mushroom and the bottom part is open. And you can see that there's only a few people entering that place, which signifies to you that's probably where the entrance need to go if you are competing. Okay. Yeah, he heads down the slope. Do the rest of you follow him? Yeah. Yep. Shouldn't we come up with some sort of plan? A strategy? A play? Uh, I have one. Well, could you share it with the rest of us? Yeah, it's him. I point at Cheezle. Cheezle's like, I get the dress! If we win, don't forget that part. And he looks at you and he's like, if we win. <laughs> <laughs> and and how what I don't I don't think I clearly understand the plan. Win? Oh no, She's I like, don't even her- know how this fucking game works. So what? here's the plan. <laughs> I happen to know quite a lot about this game. I want to Maybe you should a have a plan. Jesse, I don't know. I Anna doesn't know Hutball, but Oda is like super well versed in Hutball. She could probably recite the playbook of her favorite team. So sure. I want her to tell the team a good strategy. Can I roll for that? Of course, yeah. Could you I'll tell us the rules too, Oda? Yeah, I mean, she's like, you take the ball, you put it in there. You, you can kill people if you have to. Can I use this? Yeah, you can use whatever you want. What position yeah. would I be most valuable in? Oda, the... you, rem- uh, uh, you remember that Hutball has been around for thousands of years. Like, literally, Jedi used to play Hutball and would murder okay. each other with lightsabers. Like, it is Great. anything goes. It's the leading cause of uh, death. Yeah. 
on Narshada. <laughs> Actually, that's it. alleyway stabbings, but you know. Uh, oh I, well. Yeah. I can't. That think is of also a, good a competitive play. sport, though, in Narshada. <laughs> Yeah, you you've seen a lot, but you're no you're no coach. You just know what's supposed to happen. You know that there's a ball in the center, and they fight for the ball. And you know that you have to throw the ball into the goal. And once it's in the goal, you win. If it's three times, you win. That's what you know. And all you know is that it's chaos, and it looks great. And the holovid footage you've seen is incredible. But you know, you know, strategist. So I'm I'm making it up then. And I say, all right, who is the fastest? <laughs> Me. I suppose I'm the fastest. I was still I will butter. be the runner of the ball. PR3, you will use your flamethrower to cover me. And cover you just, in flames. No, no, no. Cover cover other people who try to get me in flames. It's very difficult to be particular with flames. <laughs> Just don't Just aim not- it at us. If we are there, do not aim it at us. Aim it at, away from us. I will attempt oh. to do so. Dio, Ulago, and I can each grab a ball, and then PR3 can stand in front of us with a flamethrower and spew flame in a giant wall, and we can all walk behind him till we reach the goal. Yeah, unless they have guns. <laughs> What's your plan? I vote what Ulago I just back. sit in the goal and I shoot people. Oh, see, that's exactly what I was about to say. He stays back and just <laughs> literally disintegrates I, everyone. When they're all dead, <sighs> we walk to the other side safely. I don't have I, to kill anyone. I, I, I know a little bit about Hutball, like, from my role. Can I try to do a plan? Because <laughs> maybe robot <laughs> plan might help a little bit. Uh, go I'll for add it. to I this mean, plan, at least. Yeah, ask Is it team. an education role? Is that what we, we, we're doing here? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> No, nope. you they do not play hotball in the empire, that's for sure. Well, I mean, can I get rid of like all my strain then with those? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and then I have one left so I can give it to the next person who rolls. The group of you continues to walk down towards the platform as uh the guards behind you kind of push you forward, uh trying to wrangle all of the different uh, entrance into the main corridor. As you enter, what you see is the arena itself is sunk down deep into the earth and the crowd seated high above and sort of the top of that mushroom. The walls are lined with metal sheets that are scorched black from what appears to be uh, explosions. The arena itself, if you look at it, is a twisting maze of grates and walkways and paths that appear to almost go to nowhere and at either end are two goalposts one is marked in purple one is marked in yellow and above you as you look around you see these multicolored uh neon hologram displays with an area for the score various sponsorships like a greatest moments in hutball a uh, video is playing and it's playing to the crowd so you can kind of make out what's happening. It looks like someone got decapitated with the razor of some sort, like a saw blade, but it's hard to determine. <laughs> but you see a head like fly through the air. Um, It, it definitely seems like it, they're expecting violence and the crowd cheers as the head goes flying. Um, In the center of all of this is the ball. And I will show you kind of what I'm talking about. Because thankfully, we have this. Hmm. Fancy. Oh, shit. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) So, you notice that, uh, ignore the other side for right now. You notice that the arena itself is, like I said, there's a bottom floor and then a series of catwalks and various ramps. Um, The ramps, you notice there are several areas, these marked in red, that appear to be grates where underneath you can see a red glow. You're not sure exactly what that means, but there's a red glow and steam rising from beneath those. In the center of the arena, the white thing is the ball. Um, you see that the ball itself 
is um encased in a weird white device that is glowing. Um, PR3, this device rings to you as being mechanical of nature and not ball looking at all. Mm. And around the main area, you notice that to the north and south are two high powered air vents. These air vents are used, uh, according to what you've seen, Oda, these air vents are used by competitors to blast off and, and fly Ooh. high into the sky. Um, and to the right and left, the red, I'm sorry, the green is pits of acid. Hmm. And uh, as, oh. as you notice the pits of acid up above, you see one of the ads play. And it says, uh, it says Zerka Corp. Today's acid brought to you by Zerka Corp. <laughs> Anytime, anywhere, we're there. <laughs> and uh, the uh, other, like, you know, like Splorg, which is like a Coke. I don't know. It's the Coke logo, but it says Splorg uh, is, appears up there as well. And um, the one of the uh, attendants behind you informs you that you will be playing the first match. Lovely. Great. Get it over with. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Up above, you hear faintly the announcement. Again, it's very loud. The crowd is rumbling and shaking the arena. You hear the faint announcement of your names being called. And the images being shown to the crowd are those names and images that are literally the wanted posters from the Empire. And... <laughs> The announcement says, The Empire's most wanted! Oh my god! <laughs> fugitives from the law! Former, in, uh, former Republic soldier! And then it shows Ulago. Former Imperial droid! And then it shows PR3. Oh no. And it says, Bounty hunter! And it shows Diofang. And then it says, Wanted smuggler, Oda Kanali. Nice. I was gearing up for worse. And uh, <laughs> the, the, the crowd cheers, but it's sort of like, they're a little worried because they don't know if they should be worried that <sighs> Imperial like wanted people are in the same arena with them because they all are probably wanted by the Empire. So it's like a yay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this is that's the announcer's fault. That's no one else's fault. Yeah, across from you, uh, five individuals step out, and the crowd erupts in cheers. The first person to appear is this guy right here. Uh... This person is Gud Garm, a uh, famed Gud, Gud Garm, mm. famed Aqualish bounty hunter. Uh, Aqualish are like a species of humanoids. They have four eyes and like large tusky things hanging out of their, their mouth, kind of where like their nose would be. And uh, yeah, they're the weird guys in Star Wars. Gud Garm, he is a famed bounty hunter one of the most notorious on Narshada. He formed this team years ago and they are undefeated. No. Also on his team is this Bothan, former Republic infantryman. This Bothan's name is uh, Anna Lefio. She is, uh, Bothans, uh, the best way to describe them, they're kind of like short, furry humanoids that have kind of like lion faces. Um, they are known for their cunning and, uh, strategery and are all around kind of like sneaky individuals. And she is, uh, uh, part of his team. She is known 
in the sport of blood, uh, blood I'll say blood ball of hut ball wink. Um, she is known to be their leading scorer. Also with them, strangely enough, is a Deveronian wanted fugitive. One of the few Deveronian women to traverse the galaxy. Uh, unlike the men who are sort of like big horned and they look like devils. Deveronian mm. women are furry. They like have, they, they're, they're very hairy. Um, and she is, her name is Krella Vaz. And she is a, basically just a murderer, a known murderer. She is a serial killer who has countless victims to her name. Many of them in Hutball. The way that she was convinced to join the team by Gud was he was like, you can kill people legally. And she was like, I'm in. So Ew. she is part of the team. Also on the team is this guy. Uh, he is an assassin. A human assassin uh, paid for by the Huts. He is known to be a dead shot. He can hit from any distance. Uh, he has with him, strangely enough, the logo you see across the way, a disruptor rifle in his hand. Okay. <laughs> the logo's killing him first. <laughs> <laughs> Good, he's and, edgy with his hood. Let's see who's bow with it. <laughs> and last but not least, mm -hmm. An enforcer droid, HK99 Mark II. I knew II. it was an HK, yeah. It is known throughout the galaxy, the HK series, as the most deadly droids ever made. It is an old model, but he has lived long enough to have forgotten. His memory banks have literally degraded with how many people he's murdered in the thousands of years he's been alive. He Dude, has seen his memory banks got full of murder. He's he's seen things that he, he's watched all of his like fleshy cohorts die. And he considers that he's outlived like he considers it a pleasure that he's outlived all of them. And so uh this he does this for fun. Mm -hmm. And these are your competitors. The crowd cheers loudly as the group of them enters the arena on the purple side and you are kindly pushed by the attendant into the yellow side and she looks at you and says good luck F Fatula will be cheering for you and just runs as fast away as possible we all saw this disruptor rifle right it's very visible I, I obviously would pat Ulago and point at that guy and yeah, then I would look it. to Oda and Pierre there, and I'd say, that guy, get cover. Don't let him shoot you. If you manage to take him down, Ulago, you'll have one for each hand. Now you're talking. Or, you know, That's could cool. give, you know, you know, someone else. <laughs> and I point to Oda. <laughs> someone else gun. <laughs> That's really funny. Odo's response is like, yeah, that's nice. You could have one for each hand. And I was like, you could give one to Oda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. Yeah. Uh, and I, I Steve... look at Oda, I think, and I say, Oda, I think you need to know now. Some of these people are probably going to die unless you're okay with us dying. Not a no. single one of those people looks like a good guy. Well, I mean, we just don't have to do it wantonly. We can make it quick. Hopefully. That's not what I meant, but all right. <laughs> we'll make it as painless as possible, let's say that, because there's no, these, these are not good people. If you need to shoot to kill, I really hope you shoot to kill. I need to, yes. And then I look at PR3 and I'm like, just kill as many as you can. <laughs> and then I walk away inspiring chisel cheers and looks oh at the and then i you. then i i point at chisel and i'm like remember that dress it's all yours but you got to stay yeah. alive too he nods just like you see the crowd begin to 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 raise their arms and sort of a, a wave 
as it goes around the entire Coliseum. Uh, the chanting becomes louder and louder as a countdown clock begins. And before you, the ball begins to hover. And again, PR3, you notice this ball seems really strange. There's something weird about this ball. Uh, it doesn't seem like a, like a bouncy ball at all. Hmm. And it begins Is to it hover supposed to be a the... bouncy ball in Hutball? I don't know. I ruled that I knew about it. Remember? You know about you know did you bounces. get that? Did you get that roll? Did you yeah. succeed? No, the, the one above it when we first were like, do you know anything about Hutball? Not like, the one where it was like, let's do a plan. No, well, yeah. you recognize this ball to be special in some way. Oh, okay. Oh. There's something odd about that ball. It's not acting normal. It's not doing anything. To see if I know what is up with it? Sure. I wish my perception were better. Yeah! Oh, I do know. Here. Crazy thing. So, the ball, you notice, the outside of the ball is a uh, encasing shell that is surrounding what appears to be from your limited, you know, you've seen enough hot ball to recognize when they use special balls. And for, for hot days, they're probably going to use some special balls. Um, you recognize this to be uh, an de explosive device encased by a uranium shell. Um, it is toxic, but not lethal. However, anyone who grabs the ball will be slowed down significantly. Huh. Uh, it's a gimmick designed to make you toss the ball more often. Um, There's or a trigger. Kill each other. Or kill each other. There's a trigger that if you do not pass the ball within two turns of taking it, it will explode. This information on to my colleagues. Pass the ball as in let go of the ball? Or pass, pass the ball as the in ball. someone else has to touch the ball. If you let go of the ball, Good question. and if like the other team catches it, it will reset. Yeah, what if you throw a pass and it misses your ally? If it misses yeah, the it's ally... Just, like, on the ground. Yeah, if it's on the ground, the ball respawns in the center of the room. Okay, cool. Because we not we don't have many agility boys. I'm just checking. Yeah, if, if you toss it and you miss... It respawns in the center. So if someone is in the center and you talk, like if the plan is, all right, we're going to toss it to PR3 and you're like, oh no, PR3, I miss this. If yeah. you have Dio back in the middle, if you miss, Dio can grab it right away. That I'm already thing. slow. Never toss it to me. Yeah. So if you get the ball, you begin to slow down. And so what that's going to mean is you're just going to have another difficulty dice. And then your next turn, you'll have another difficulty dice until you throw it. Jeez. And the Hi. horn sounds and the crowd cheers. And at that point, I'm going to need all of you because you're all prepared. I need all of you, if you'd be so kind mm -hmm. as to roll for me, um, your cool. <laughs> Jeez. Well, one strain. It begins. Do you take strain even on cool? No, don't worry about that. Oh, so I can okay. ignore it? Oh, I don't yeah, take yeah. those? Okay, I mean, great, all I, it is is I just I just need I, right, I just cool. need it for the for the order. Um right. Yeah, so it actually if you would do me a favor. Uh, cause, cause you only rolled, if you can go to where it says initiative cool, um, I can determine if you will re-roll that, uh, PR three and uh -huh. Oda. All right, hold on. I want to see, I want to see if I can get this. Yeah. You can click the combat tab. It'll be right at the top guys. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Different kind of cool. I got yeah. you. Nice. Cool. Do I get to use that to heal strain? Uh, no. Yeah. No, uh, just it just checking. means that it, it means that currently you are going first on the list of all of you. Oh, and uh, yeah, it looks like PR three is second. Oh, so the better. order right. will be Oda, PR three, uh, and then Ilago and Dio. You can decide who goes third or fourth. Okay. Uh, and then 
because my sweet little boy is going to roll. Uh, oh, Cheezel. Cheezel, no matter what, Cheezel's going to go last just to amplify your abilities. So whatever you need him for, he's going to go after you. But there's a reason why we have character sheets. Also, rolling against you is... That character, Gudgarm, and then we have this. I don't know that. Oh boy! Oh boy! And then this character. All right. And then how many do I have? I just lost count. Uh, okay. Then this character. Boy. And last but not least, HK99. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, you should have the turn order. I think JP has it on the screen for those at home. But uh, first up is our dear friend, uh, Oda. You get to start this battle. You see before you, I will let you move throughout the map. You can do whatever you want on the map. You don't have to worry about movement until you make an actual, like, I choose to do this. But I'll let you maneuver wherever you want to maneuver. Okay. Um, so it doesn't matter how much distance I take on my turn? Go for it. Go, Mind you, here's the, here's, here's the dilemma. I'm be, I'll be open and honest with you. As you move through, you have to roll for every time you cross over a grate. A red grate if you choose to. Uh, I can't move my token. What? Yeah, I can either. Son of a butt. It's grafted. What do you mean it's grafted? Mm -mm. Mm, should be also, should... is this a path? Or is that outside yes, of that the... Yes, that is... Um, it, there is a line there that's a drop that you can drop down, but you can't run up that way. So you could drop down there and go up the middle, sure. But you notice that up that middle path... In order to get into that center, you have to drop down again. Uh, and so it's like two drops. But yeah, you can do it. How do you get out of the very center? Doesn't look like there's any way. The air ports, they... right? Yeah, the air vents on the side will, will pop you up the top. Right, um, okay. Cool. Yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. Just like Old Republic. Um, mm. Yeah, so you can definitely do that if you if you choose to. Uh, if you would be so kind, can you guys move your characters on there? We'll just have you do that then, because I can't figure out what I did to screw this up for you. If you go to your, yeah, and then uh, I will click is drawing, and then hopefully you can just move it. Pocket. You good? Excellent. Yeah, I can move it. I can't. How do I do resize it? I got you. I got you. I got you. Wait, where am I getting that song? Just literally drag your character sheet onto the map. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Yeah, that's what I did for you. I don't know why it didn't, why it was like, no. All right. And then, there you go. You are all good now. I'll delete your characters. You can do whatever you want with them now, except you're all starting back on the starting line. All right. Go I'm nuts. I'm going to... I'm going to run to position here. I'm not going to get the ball yet because I don't have anyone to pass it to, but I'm going to okay. yell for someone else to come, like, come behind me so I can pass you the ball once I get it. Great. Um, yeah, you move into position and you wait there. Um, while you do that, uh, this guy, oh, hold on, this guy, runs into actually he's going to go here and he's going to go as to the highest position on the map and he's going to take up a sniper position 
and he's going to wait for someone to get in line to try and take the ball. Mm-hmm. He gets down on on in prone position. Uh, the next person, the next person, uh, this baddie right here heads here and attempts to cross over this flame gate. Uh, as she does, you notice that as the match starts, the the areas where steam and red was glowing begin to spew at random intervals fire up above uh, through the grating. And so she's going to attempt to get through that. Um, and her role will be... She, uh, well, she doesn't have the athletics to do it, so we'll have to write. She's going to try and stealth her way through and uh, make a maneuver. Yeah, she passes through it easily and makes her way to the other side. And she comes down here and tries to pass through it again. Doing it once more, trying to stealthily maneuver her way through. And Krella Vaz is going to... Do just fine. And she makes her way into the center and goes uh, uh, around the the uh, goop, the, the acid, and moves into the center to grab the ball. Krella Vaz has the ball. The next turn goes to i believe it was this dude uh this guy is going to come down here and just drop down below and sort of take up a position down here and it is now pr3 turn mhm hmm i want to see the flamethrower really put to good use well, in this I'm game well i'm going to come over and cover you then won't i <laughs> you jump down there and i'll try flamethrower well, you could also just flame throw, throw the person that has the ball. Oh, or do they have it right now? Yeah. Oh, then pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> is this on the balcony right here? Yeah. Um. Yeah, you would have to jump down to be on the same level as her. I don't want to jump down. I just want to shoot my flamethrower into the pit. <laughs> How far does your flamethrower shoot? I don't know. You've never well, really I, tested it. I Well, I shot some stuff. I shot some debris that one time. You did shoot debris. That's true. <laughs> It's a flamethrower. Like, depends on what type it is, doesn't it? Is it like uh, jelly also there's a giant there's a giant wind tunnel in front of you, so you should be careful where you aim it. As but well. if oh, I remember, God. hold on. But if I remember, Hutball, <laughs> all you gotta do is step to the left or the right, and you're still. This makes me want to go play Hutball so bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what the what are the specific. Does it, do I have to like? go look up the specifics of this flamethrower? Is that what you're telling me? No, I'm just... Uh, you should have a range listed. As far as yeah. I know, it's a jellied flamethrower. Those had a, a hell of a range in World War II. If we're like going by World War II flamethrowers. Does it say on your actual Samuel. character sheet? I don't know. Uh, I would have to go to the edge of the Empire book and see what type of flamethrowers and they are. Mike, I would go over Jesse's here. <laughs> Where? I would, go over, I would go over here. Oh, you think so? Like right here, just because like these guys, <laughs> mm. they might run up on you. You know that's true. Uh, on the wiki, it says it has a conical area nine meters long and nine meters wide at its terminus. Ha! Cool. How many meters is feet? <laughs> Almost. A, it's like us, about uh... a yard, so like three feet ish. Three feet. Three feet wow, is about Star me, yeah. Wars. <laughs> Even World War II, they had flamethrowers that could go fucking like ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it doesn't have a pack. It's literally built into your arm. It it's says, the future. You, it says you got about, you've got about, I want to say like. a ago, but it's better technology than we got. You've got about 27 feet on it. Yeah. 27 feet. Okay. 20, 20, so you can 20, fill 20. that whole pit with fire. Where did five feet come from? I would love to to try my best to just indiscriminately burn everything that's down there right Go now. Go for it, yeah. Try to hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just a uh, just a, real quick. You are yeah. firing a flamethrower at a uranium shell explosive, right? <laughs> cool. No, I just just wanted to ask a question, but all right, fine. yeah. Go for it. It's dude. fine. I don't plan this stuff out. So anyway, <laughs> twenty nine point five feet to be exact. <laughs> 
Thank you, Pocket. I like the <laughs> amount of feet that Thank that you, is. the accountant in my chat. Yeah. Good job, accountant. All right. So I am rolling what? Gunnery? Is that what flamethrowers um, fall under? No, gunnery is if you're like in a ship. Oh, you okay. are rolling uh, ranged light. Oh, that's right. Okay. Ah, yes, right. Flamethrowers are light. I thought they were heavy. Um, uh, you have a light one in, inside uh, of you because it isn't like a bunch of damage is going to happen because of this flamethrower. Anyway, I shot it and did really good. <laughs> yeah. So you fire the flamethrower down at her. Um, do you, your flame... I need to look this up. I specifically aim for the face. <laughs> also, I'm surprised that Ode is cool with this. Aren't you supposed to be like, no. Yeah, your live. flamethrower was specially made. It does five damage. Oh, yeah. Um, on uh, plus one, two. So what is that? Seven total for you mm -hmm. on her. Um, let me look up the information on Krella Vaz. My secret plan is if I don't kill them to at least burn their eyebrows off. So if they win, they look ridiculous anyway. Yeah, Krella Vaz has <laughs> uh, uh, five soak. But you still do two damage to her, okay. and you scorch her a little bit, uh, and she drops the ball. As wow. as the ball drops, it respawns uh, several feet away from her, back in the center of the ring. Okay, and then I give my advantage to the next person. Great, thank you. The next person to move is HK ninety nine. He jumps down here, takes up position. And he's going to use his blaster rifle to his heavy blaster rifle to fire on you, Oda. Um, do you have any defense or any skills that will protect you from this? Oh, don't I have... I, I may have a move. I have a thingy. I did, but I don't. All right, I you fired. I meant to say that I wanted to take cover if I could where I, when I was standing there, but I didn't say it before, so. Um, he fires, and he hits you for 11 damage. How much damage do you, or how much uh, soak do you have? I have one soak. He hits you for 10 damage. A and lot of my wounds. Yeah, and when he hits you for 10 damage, um, also his triumph is that um, the... Let me see here. Uh, I'll, I'll give you this. I'll let you have this. I'll let you make this decision. HK-49 is a, is, is, a, is a powerful hunter. One of the best in the... He's killed, like I said, countless people. He is un an unstoppable force of pure terror. Um, I will let you decide right now, because I know that on your person, you have one blaster pistol and one light blaster. He and two stun grenades. I'll let you decide. I'll let you decide this. This is what I'll give you, because I like you so much. Um, either he does 10 damage to you and destroys your blaster pistol, or he does five damage to you and destroys both your blaster pistol and your light blaster. Or he does no damage to you and destroys your blaster pistol, light blaster, and sets off both your stun grenades, stunning you for one round. Stun grenades! I love my blasters, but we are, we are in a place where I could get new ones. I'll take I'll take your deal, Jesse Cox. I'll take Which deal five, will you take? I'll take your five damage for my two blasters. Yeah. Uh, okay. So he shoots you, uh, but he doesn't go for your body. He goes for the blasters in your hands, and they explode uh, in your hands. And shrapnel goes everywhere, and you take five damage and uh, are knocked down for a second. But you uh, still appear to be. Fine, relatively fine, but your blasters are destroyed. That sucks. I don't like that. Right back. Uh, let me look at you really quick. I only have 11 wound thre threshold, so 10 was too much for me. 
Yeah. Uh, her brawn is two, so her soak can't be one. That is interesting. That's what it says on my character sheet. I know. Let me. What? How do we get to that? Um. Yeah, your soak should be. My brawn is three. Soak allows damage. Right, right, right. Your brawn adds to your soak value. So we just didn't. Okay. So what will happen is you can either take. Uh, you would if you have three. You have four soak is what you should have. Oh, that All right. changes things. Yes. So I'll give you. I'll give you that offer again. You can either take uh, seven damage and lose one blaster. You can take uh, three damage, lose both blasters, or uh, take no damage and lose all your weapons but your lightsaber. His damage was 10. My soak yes. is four. So I would take Originally, six. it was 11. Originally, it was 11 damage. It was? And then the minus one oh. soak was for the 10. Right. Okay. Um, so seven. Lose a blaster. Two. Lose both blasters. Three. Lose both blasters. Take. Seven and keep one blaster. Okay. You take seven damage. So you, you're. Tick up your wound by seven. I like that. Yeah. I feel like the lore of that is that she sees the blast coming toward her blaster and she's like, no, my baby. And she like lets the blast ricochet off her shoulder instead. Keeps the blast. And it, uh, yeah, it's it suddenly the screen turns black and white and Enya plays as the blaster waves goodbye to you and fades <laughs> into non existence. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the, the blaster, like, one tear comes out of the barrel and it fades <laughs> away. Uh, yeah, you, you, um, you take damage as the blaster explodes in your hand, and uh, you can almost hear in a droid like voice HK laughing. Uh, okay, next up, it's either Dio or Ulago. You can decide. I think Ulago should go so we can start taking shots. Yeah, sure. Um, Ulago's gonna. Droid. I like it's going to hit the high point. Okay. Um, and I don't need fight? to take it. I don't need to take a turn to snipe because I have oh a skill that lets me do it in one turn. So oh I'm going to true aim and I'm going to hit the guy who's sniping on the other team. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, he's prone, so that adds the one difficulty, but go for it. Uh, 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 uh. One sec. I want to see if I can perform a brace maneuver and shoot, but I don't think I can. I think brace maneuver replaces my moving. Mm hmm. I'll let chat confirm. Either way, uh, sure. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a shoot this fool. Go for it. Uh, also, hang on. My new move. Um. You can if you suffer too strain. All Ooh. right. I'll brace maneuver to remove one black dice from his cover. Bonus. Great. Okay. Done. Um, but add, increase the difficulty of the combat check by one because I'm going to crippling blow. So I guess keep the black dice. Okay. Or whatever. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to shoot him. Go nuts. Let's see what happens. Yeah, you 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 miss. It, it it hits the ground near him and uh you hear him shout, "Is that all you got?" Son of a bitch. Your turn, Dio. Uh 
I'm thinking. Look at I'm all those run. dice. How did that? Oh, sorry, I'm just shocked. There's so many. There's so many die on that screen, man. It's crazy. <laughs> How many die on what thing? Just his disruptor rifle. Look how many dice he's using. Oh, Still yeah. didn't get it. Blowing my mind. How far can I move? In you can move month? anywhere at all. But if you move across anything red, you have to roll either athletics or stealth or tell me how you're going to cross it. Uh, No, I don't want to run. I want to run basically to the opposite side without going over red. Um, like so the furthest you can get, this. yeah, the furthest you can get is to where, see how there's the, the lines right before that platform that you're on, on yeah. either side, you can get to there, but you like, that's a large wall. You literally can't jump it. No, I want to get in front of, uh, Oda. Okay. Yeah. You can do that. Easy. And then I want to shove her behind cover. <laughs> okay. If she lets me. Yeah, totally. I meant and to. And I'm going to go into before. defense. Wait, 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 Let me read my skill. Hold on. I don't know if it works first range. I think it's only melee. Because if I remember correctly, you could kind of like get back in these areas and take like some cover. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's literally a box there on the map. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to I'm going to try and get us both behind cover while while the HK's there. I think I might shove her that way and then I'm going to take cover behind like the little like ledge of the stairs. Okay. So like around the corner, I'm going to I'm going to go into cover. That way I'm like in between both uh Oda and PR3. Sure. Okay. Uh do you want to do anything besides take that cover position or are you just going to wait? Uh, because I can't really go anywhere else. It's not like I can do anything else. Oh, wait. If I peek up, can I shoot at anyone? Uh, with, you with... are at a disadvantage. This is one of those high ground situations where, like, you can see that there are people in the area. Like, the only person the that guy is below this dude right here is this guy is below you. Oh. This guy is above you. This dude is behind you, and this lady is, like, way back in the starting position. The only person you can see is her. I would just take a shot at her, just to take a shot. Go for it. Yeah, do it. Uh, hold on. Let me change that for you. Go for it. There's light right Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you hit her. Um, what is your ranged light? What is I the damage on that? I blaster pistol, but I don't have it on my sheet. Okay, your blaster pistol. I didn't even be... have my my vibro sword on my sheet till last week. Your blaster week pistol. Ago. Good good news is that Oda definitely has one in her character sheet. Oh, uh, your blaster okay. pistol does six damage, and this character, our dear friend, our poor beat up Krella Vaz, she has five soak. So you do one damage to her. She oh, takes awesome. a blaster shot to the armor, but it is relatively fine. I pass on my uh, a blue dice to uh, the next person. Sure. Oda, I think. All right. The next person is uh, our Bothan, Anna Lefio. She runs down here. And is going to take up position right here and attempt to catch the ball if it's thrown to her. Which means that before uh, Oda goes, Cheezle goes, and you hear from across the arena, uh, yeah, 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 and he jumps down and he's going to just try and stab. Uh, he's just going to try and stab Anna, uh, Anna Lefeo with a uh, quick attack. Anything for the dress. Anything for the dress. And yes, he hits her and his, uh, what the hell is that damn thing? His vibro knife, um, does how much damage does a vibro knife do? It hmm. does this amount, uh, vibro knife that does five damage. Yeah. 
<laughs> five run knife does five damage. Uh, he does uh, five, six, seven to her. And she... Oh my god. Uh, she takes four damage. And you can, she has a very low soak. You can see that she is badly hurt. Um, whatever he did to her, you notice that while she may be very quick and nimble, she is wearing no armor at all and takes, takes a, he takes a big hit from behind. Uh, and now it is your turn, Oda. Well, my plan was to be like in position for ball passing. And they both seem to have this lady on lock. So if I were to move, oh, I was clicking on myself on the program there. If I were to move myself like here and take cover behind whatever this jetting out thing is or this little box thing, mm -hmm. or whatever, do I think that one, either Dio or PR3 could toss me the ball once they get it from where they're standing? Um, you want to go the could, other no, way. I want to go toward them. Never mind. Yeah, you, you want to, you're trying way. to score their goal. Yeah. Right. Well, then that makes no sense. I'm going to shoot from <clears throat> my place of cover. Uh, okay. If I were to throw a stun grenade, it's ranged light. Would it be mm -hmm. able to hit like both these people if I threw it right there? Could I reach there? Uh, you could. This guy right here, this guy is above. He's on the top catwalk. Uh -huh. And this guy is down below all the catwalks. Yeah, but I mean, a stun grenade, I presume, goes in all directions when it explodes. Sure, but if you if you throw it in the middle, it's just going to be hard to hit both of them. You, it's probably better to focus on one. You can try it. It's just going to be a harder roll. That's all. Want it if it's not going to do a bunch of people damage because I could just shoot them with a blaster instead. Sure. Um, I am going to. I can't stun the droid, and he just shot me. So yeah, I'm gonna just shoot the droid with a blaster. Okay. Uh, go for it. Nice. Damn. Uh, yes. You hit for six damage plus <laughs> seven, eight, nine, nine damage. Uh, do you have any special <laughs> qualities on that, or is it just a straight up blaster? You don't have like vicious just or anything crazy. Yeah. yeah, so you do nine damage, and it looks like our boy HK99 has five soaks. You do four damage to him. Nothing beats a good blaster by your side. That's what mm. I always say. You can see that uh, it almost looks like he scowls at you with his red eyes as you sort of leave a scorch mark on his almost pristine brown armor. Um, or I guess bronze. Uh, all right. Switching back up. Our guy up top takes a shot at you. Uh uh PR3 because you oh. were attacking um I hate uh, to do this real quick. What now? I forgot to add the blue dice, but can it be passed on? Sure, of course. To PR3? Okay. Oh, uh, once also, PR3's turn. Yeah. Also, I I didn't say this, but I want to go back behind cover at the end of my turn. Is that okay? Can I do That's that? That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, actually, I just realized he has this eruptor rifle, which is totally useless against droids. So he takes a shot at you, Dio! Uh, mm -hmm. and he's going to fire on you with his disruptor rifle. I'd like to add that I should be kind of behind cover from this vantage point. Um, you are, you braced, I'm, right? Like I'm you, down. You... I'm down some for him. So I'm down, like, oh, yeah, on this level, yeah. and then, like, right here, like, on the stair area. Like, I popped up and then went right back down here. True. It's, it's hard to, like, show. He can probably All maybe right, I'll get. I'll get. Look, I will give you an extra black die. You have convinced me. Also, I want to give you a fair shot. I don't want you to lose I an arm immediately. I also am the second heaviest beard, probably. <laughs> but not immediately. Yeah, I don't want your arm to explode off immediately. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, uh, okay. Couch. This guy, I totally forgot to tell you his name. His name's <laughs> Condal Anderim. I love I love good hmm. names. I do remember uh, the right. map really well, by the way. He fires on you right now. <laughs> what? That didn't do anything. <laughs> that what? Uh huh. Uh huh. It's like you got the rules card and I. Yeah. What? Hold deck. on. What if I remove that and then do? <laughs> 
There we go. All right. Um, you you take a hit from the disruptor rifle. Uh, it does ten to you. Four. Um, but it doesn't crit you, so you don't technically you don't get mega hurt, which is good for you. Is um, this on? Uh, is this on? Pocket. Yes. Yeah. Don't you um, have a black die pocket for every attack? No, that's only to melee and. Uh, oh, get fucked. Has- <laughs> yeah. So you you take ten damage, uh, yeah. but you have a no, bunch of defense have- and you have soak. Yes. Okay. So I have uh, one defense for range and six soak. Great. So you take three damage. Oh, okay. a little better. Yeah. Ah, uh, get fucked. Oh. Ulaga. Six soak? What the fuck? She's I the tank. Spec, she is the tank. I spec full tank. <laughs> so basically, if they shoot at me, they're shooting at the heaviest geared person. <laughs> All right. The next person up is uh, our dear friend right here. She grabs the ball again, <sighs> and uh, that is her move. She's just asking to get flamed again. The next person is this guy. He moves to uh, up the ramp to attack Cheezel. Uh and he is going to um actually he'll move to he'll move to here behind cover. And he's going to shoot at Cheezel. Um and our good friend Chud Garm is going to fire his blaster pistol. And he hits uh, he does six damage to Cheezel, and Cheezel has three soaks, so Cheezel takes three damage. Poor Cheezel. Cool, cheesy. All right. Cool, cheesy, my kneesy. It is your turn, PR3. Remember, you have mm-hmm. a blue. I have blue. Okay. Then I use it, because I'm going to have to flame her again, unfortunately. She didn't learn. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, light weapon. There it is, range light. Uh. Yes. Who oh, are you baby. trying to shoot right now? Girl in the Ball middle. Ball holder. Yeah. Um, you hit her again, and we will. If it's uh above ten, she holds the ball. You hit her. Uh, you do. Um. Uh. Let's see. What was her soak again? Krelavaz, what was your soak? Five. You do six points of damage. Is that what you just did? Damn, she's got a lot of soak. So you do one, um, and she still holds the ball. Dang. She's like fire retardant. Pretty much. HK99 mm. uh, sees you shoot his friend. And comes oh, here behind what cover. It, what does it mean if the flamethrower has vicious three and pierce two? Um, vicious is you, just triggered on a crit. Okay. Yeah, all those are, are um, crit things. Which you need advantage right. for. Pierce means it does bypass two pot pieces of soak, though. Uh, okay. And also, there's defense on. So, pocket. If you had defense, it, we'll deal with it next time. You're fine. I'll give you that. Uh, also, you didn't have a blue die for some reason? That's because I gave you an extra green die. Eh, whatever. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. It happens. So, okay. Do I do uh, more damage from the pierce? I mean, it, does, it doesn't matter at this oh, okay. point. You, uh, you got extra damage because you had a green die instead mm. of a blue die. So I'm just going to give you that and we'll call it a life. Um... I want one eyebrow. Give me, give me one eyebrow and compromise. You, eyebrow thins right off. Thank she's you. so pissed. Her grooming <laughs> habits are, she's furious. You can, Sick. she sneers at you and she says, HK. And he <laughs> comes around the corner and he shoots at you. PR3 oh, with his blaster rifle. Eyebrow vengeance. Yeah. She's furious. Um, HK 99 Mark two is going to shoot at you. You are, while he is behind cover, you are kind of up and above him mm-hmm. and it's an odd shot. Mm-hmm. So I will make this a difficulty of three there. Mm-hmm. And he is going to take a shot at you with his heavy blaster rifle. Let's see mm-hmm. what happens. 
Hmm. He hits you. Uh, he does 10 damage. Do you have any defense or anything like that? Oh, God. Where is that? Under uh, I probably should ask you for defense first. Do you have any soak? Where is the soak located? It would be underneath under wounds your wounds. Trained. Oh, okay. Uh, one. <laughs> Great. You take nine damage. <laughs> oh, my life. And it is now either Dio or Ulago's turn. Ulago is going to brace maneuver to remove a black dice for cover on this guy, if he okay. has any. Damage goes in wounds, um, right? Yes. All right. And uh, I'm not going to add a difficulty this time. I'm just going to shoot. Go for it. Dang. <laughs> wow. Um, I believe you crit this fool. Yes. Um, it's 17 I, damage and a crit. I don't. So what we learned last time is that the crit, the way it works is it was. Uh, so the way it works is you, you just roll on the injury table. And if it's below crippled, it just becomes crippled. Um, gotcha. So you're going to roll with plus 60 because I have Vicious 5 and then I have Lethal Blows rank 1. So what I need to do then for poor Condal and Aram. So he needs to take the hit. And then am I adding a critical modifier yes. of 60 to that? So it's offset by 60? You're going to roll a critical modifier and add 60 to it, yeah. Well, that is, um, so roll one D10 to determine one wounded characteristic. All right, let's find out. Is that higher than crippled? It's yeah, this is, this is mm. 126 to 130 gruesome in, 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 nice. in yeah, he's, he's messed up. Oh. Uh, one D10. Let's see what happens. Five, four to six. He loses some agility. Uh, to determine one wounded characteristic, so his agility is permanently lowered by one. Damn. And yeah, you seventeen damage. Yeah, you shot him for seventeen damage. He has three soak, so you hit him for fourteen. <laughs> he is badly hurt. You see this guy? You hit him, and like blood splatters back. Like you, you like shoot a hole in him. Jeez. And you, yeah. you hit no longer smoking. He goes, "Talk shit to me now." <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Um, he takes wow. So he let me go back to his main character sheet and see what the hell just happened to him. Chat, I'm not um, hitting a droid, I'm hitting this guy right here. Dude, I hate his edgy hoodie. Cool. All right, you took his agility down from three to two. Uh he is badly hurt. Okay. Uh good work. It is your turn, Pocket. What will you do? Oh man. Okay. So the HK thought it a shot at pure three. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a hole in a man. Damn. I'm going to run up and try to hit him in the face with my vibro sword. You're trying to hit HK 99 in the face with a vibro sword. Do Why it. Why not? Go to town. You run up on him. You you swing your vibro sword at him. You connect. You do seven damage. Um, plus you have pierce two. So you're ignoring soak. Um, wow. So you do exactly seven damage to him. Uh, and uh, he. Let me go to his character really quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you hit him and he begins to spark. And uh, your blade cuts through him and you can see his inner workings and it's like sizzling, but he's still somehow functioning. I'm going to uh, spend a strain to go into defense in front of him. Sure. And I'm going to pass on my, my thingy to the next, to Oda. So remember Oda. Okay. Uh, instead of using it for to lower strain. 
Um, Arbothan. Enna Lefio is going to turn and assault Cheezel. And she turns to attack him. And she's going to do so with just her fist because she doesn't she doesn't have a melee weapon. So she's going to brawl him, just straight brawl this guy. Um and let's see what happens. She goes to swing at Cheezel and she connects. Uh, she goes to hit him. However, Sheezel has the soak and, and takes it. He gets hit, but he, he takes it and looks at her and is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Sheezel will go and Sheezel will again stab with his, uh, vibro knife. And he is going to try his hardest to hurt somebody. <laughs> She punches Cheezle in the face, and Cheezle does one of those, like, you know, dramatic movie things, like, except <laughs> it's, except it's Cheezle, so it's the most ridiculous looking thing in the world, and he takes his daggers and, like, stabs her in the gut, like, 16 times in a row, and you see this Bothan Jeez. just slump over and fall on the ground dead. Jeez. Well. And she is out of play. Um, it is now your turn, Oda. What do you do? I'm remembering that Dio gave me. And am I able to still shoot my blaster at the droid over Dio's defensive stance? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it isn't like one of those things where she's just in the way. You can definitely hit hit the droid. All right, I'm I'm gonna try to help her with that droid. All right, take a shot if you will. No, you missed. Unfortunately, her being in the way was a problem, and you were afraid you might hit her as she's engaged in combat with HK99. But uh, you miss, and it goes wide. Bummer. Would you like to move, or are you gonna stay where you're at? I'm gonna stay where I am. Okay. Next is our sniper. And this time he is, he sees what's going on with HK. He saw that his uh, friend, the Bothan, is dead. And he sees what's going on with the HK and he realizes it's too late to help his friend, the Bothan. But he knows he can save HK-99. So once again, he turns his disrupted rifle onto you. I'm going to lawyer this and say that the, he is he is going to have to shoot through flames and he's going to have to shoot through grating. Like, that's a whole wall or floor he's going to have to shoot through. I Isn't will that gladly increase your die by one and by <laughs> another because of your defense. Okay. Sure. So we'll take four black die just to get you. But he's going to Dang attempt. Hurting. He's going to attempt the shot. Uh, he saw what you did. That's HK's character sheet. He saw what you did. Condal is furious. He's beat up. He's he he realizes that if he can stop you, that they have a chance because he recognizes that Sam is very badly wounded. He's going to attempt to hit you, and he does. Mm. He hits you for ten. Um, he takes strain. Oh wow. Uh, he takes strain, uh, but he does hit you for ten. Um, and you said you have six soak. I have six soak. So he hits you for four. And we said that defense doesn't come into play. Uh, it doesn't. It gave you an extra black die. Chat, chat ruled oh, ruled me on that. Is that, that. how so, it worked? Yes, it gave you an extra. So you need to let me know whenever I roll against you. Or again, I should just make notes, which I will, and I'll just put them oh. all over my computer. Okay. So yeah, because I get two for melee and one for um, range. Ranged. Yeah. Okay. So I take four damage. Yes. Okay. That's All fun. right, it is now the turn of our dear friend Krella Vaz, who has taken all of your hits. Krella is going to attempt to throw the ball to Grum. Gud, Gudgarm. I don't know why I call Good. him Grum. To Gudgarm. Um, she's going to attempt to throw the ball. That is just her using a straight 
agility throw. Uh, she's going to use, she could use brawn, but she's going to try to agility this thing and we'll see what happens. Um, let me see. What ability is she going to use? Hmm. hmm. What ability? Uh, we're gonna have her toss this. Okay. And she does. She tosses the ball and it totally misses. Buns right behind her. <laughs> oh man. Oh, she totally fails. Well, oh, oh, I messed up. It wasn't four. I need to re-roll that. I had all the die from from that yeah. other thing. Woo! She tosses one more time. She's going to try and toss this thing. You can do it, Krella. I believe in you. Don't let the haters talk about you that way. Don't. She tosses it. Yes. And now the ball is in the hands of Gud Garm. Get him, Cheezle. Get him. Stupid Gud Garm. And Gud Garm, now uh, the next turn. It goes to uh, HK99. He looks at you and uh, takes a shot at you, Dio. Um, and he's in melee range with you, so it's gonna. he raises the uh, black die that you have by one, plus your defense from a blaster shot gets raised by one, but he's still going to take a shot at you. And he does... Uh, 11 points of damage to you. Oh my god. So that would be plus 5 damage. I now look like I'm hurting, guys. <laughs> yeah, I got smoke coming out of me, okay? That's <laughs> are really hurting. I think Cheezle is too, I'm not sure. It is now, I believe it's your turn, to, uh, Dial, I think. Or is it uh, PR3. PR3's turn? Yeah, yeah. My turn. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is uh, tense. Um, hmm. I want to help and go take out this dude, but I have two hit points left. So... Suppression fire on the lady. I think so. Is it safe to like jump down here, or am I going to fall on my face? Do I, I mean, have to just... roll a dice? Uh, no, you can jump down. It's it, All right, And this is cover it's... right here, right? These things on the... Uh, that red, that that green stuff is a pool no, not of the green stuff. The the, the oh. in the the yes, the little... that's cover. Uh, mind you, I'm she no longer the has the stuff. ball. I know. I don't care. We're killing them. <laughs> Understood. But she is taking the least damage out of out of everyone. HK is almost dead. The other dude up above yeah. has a literal hole in him. Uh -huh. The only people she is hurt the second least, and Gud Garm is has not been hurt at all. Yeah. I mean, hmm. Okay, well, I don't know. Where's the good cover from here? I can't tell by this map what like good cover is. Um, because so I need cover. I'm I can't take any more damage. Around you can even hide time. behind the stairs. You can hide behind the stairs if you want. Behind yeah. them. Yeah. Here, here, I'll show you. Right, like. Uh, but I also want to right shoot at here. somebody too, effectively. <laughs> if you if you went like right here, you could hide. This is a ledge because it stairs oh, like yeah, a right here. Yeah. Could, like hide right. Yeah. So, am I out of the sniper's effective range right here? down the stairs uh, no, i mean you can still shoot it. like cover the way it works box, is just adds too. difficulty uh, it's never okay. like you're never like out of range of uh, a guy who has a disruptor rifle you can right. hit that's like an extreme range weapon uh -huh. he really likes me though and you know this yeah i want to deal with him but if i get hit again that's, i'm out like you can maybe grab my head onto something later we but, also yeah. need to deal with him <laughs> so this guy and this guy need to go down soon i know Hmm. I think is there any cover on the catwalk? Or like right here? Is that cover? Yeah, the, it's, it's underneath it. But anytime you go on a oh. catwalk, be careful because it's there's fire vents. I everywhere. know about that. Like right when you here. have to like roll for like going oh, right here. go right there, right hang out with Oda. Yeah, just hang out with Oda. Hi Oda. <laughs> Hello. I can't Welcome shoot a flamethrower effectively from here. I'll cook you. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to get cover and have like a shot on someone, so I'm not like completely useless, but also protected a little bit more. Yeah, this is the goal here, but it's like, 
Hmm. That's why I was just going to go cover because she's convenient and there's cover right there. Yeah, if you want to go cover just to hide, you can do that too. Yeah. Lord have mercy on us all. You don't have any pistols or anything, right? Nope. I'm just flamethrowers.com. <laughs> it's a terrible website. I know, right? Well, I mean, depending. Could you maybe provide a distraction with the HK? To give him, like, further, like, lower his defense or something? Mm -hmm. Well, how, fa how, how far can I run from here? You can, movement, for this, you can do anything. Anything. Yeah, anything. you can move. Like, I could be long, like, I'm over here now. You could, as long as you give me the path to get over there. Okay, all right, all right, I'm just saying. Um, yes, you 100% can, but you have to tell mm -hmm. me how you're going to get there. Mm -hmm. Um... Well, the only there, actual way to get example. there is through the catwalks, as yeah. you can tell. Uh, yes, indeed. I mean, honestly, what's this it just stop me from? Uh... Wait, what are, what are these up here? What are, what are these right here? Uh, that's look? just the walls. That's just the walls. Mm -hmm. Damn it! All right, I'm just you know feeling it out. You know, it's the metal push. plated walls. Yeah. Mm. This also the the really dark part right mm -hmm. here is a yeah. pit, so it's underneath oh, this guy. Oh, it's yep. a pit. Oh my god! So you could like. I guess go behind Dio. And yeah, you jump could. In the you pit. could jump oh. down. Yeah, like, I was you gonna, could go yeah, up, jump down, like and come up pit. behind him. Hey, yeah. can I flame out of the pit? <laughs> uh, yeah, it'd be difficult because you're shooting up. But well, sure, I, hey, it's better than nothing. You know what I mean? Or wait, hmm. No, he's on a catwalk, so it'd be even more difficult. Huh? If you jump down the pit and then went around, though. Oh, that's true. I could be like, hey, hey, what's up? Did you know I'm over here? Oh, just don't hit me. I'm. Well, I mean, the flames gonna go. <laughs> I changed my mind. Go back in the pit. That's why this angle was better. No, go back, go in, the back pit. in the pit. I'm gonna stay down here where there's cover, and then shoot this way. Yeah, straight north. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm doing it. All right, I'll get my character sheet up again. Go for it. Go to the correct tab. All right, it was. Hmm. No, unfortunately, well, it's too much, too bad of an angle. You're too far down in the pit. Well, but the flame score like shoots up past HK's face, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, it it's a very cool visual as as Dio and HK are locked in combat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, of course, next it is uh, Gud Garm's turn, and he takes the ball and attempts to run it. Uh, mm -hmm. down here, up here, he is going to attempt to cross this, uh, barrier here, this flame wall. Gud, what do you got for me? Help me out here, pal. Gud is going to use, um, his agility to dodge out the way. We will say that he can use uh, his coordination uh, to do so. <laughs> Gudgarm takes a hit from the fire, uh, and but he makes it uh, through, but it stops him. He takes a hit from the fire, and that is going to do to him exactly... Where's my fire vent? Fire vent, where are you? <laughs> it does four damage to Gudgarm. Oh, Gudgarm. Uh, Gudgarm takes a hit. Uh, let's roll to see if he drops the ball. If it is uh, ten or above, he keeps the ball. He keeps the ball. Mm hmm all right but he's gonna stop there because he took the hit it is now either dio or ulago's turn i mean uh, <laughs> i think we're both just gonna attack so yeah uh ulago sees just to his left uh some guy jumps through the fire and uh is slightly on fire and he's just gonna swing his gun slightly to the side mm. and smile and fire a disruptor <laughs> rifle at this guy. <laughs> All right. Uh, give me one sec to verify something about Gud Garm. I don't remember if he has defense. He does have defense. So I'm going to give him one black die. 
All right. Oh, God, Garm. What will oh, happen God, to Garm. you? What will, what will happen, happen to, to you? The infamous God, Garm. Whoa! You do not hit, but something okay. happens. Um... I hit mm. the bull? Okay, sure. Yeah, you, you hit the ball, knocking it out of his hands. Is that what and would the, happen? Sure. And the ball resets in the center of the ring. Oh. Okay, cool. Do you need those um, advantage? Do, do you need I, will give, I will give a blue dice to Dio Fang. Thank you. <laughs> Dio, she needs it. I'm she needs it. I'm hurting. Dio, go nuts. What do you do? I use my my vibro sword. Yes. And and I you, swing it. you swore the robot. Okay. I vibe my vibro sword. And HK, does he have any armor? HK ninety nine. What's going on with you? Yes, I've I've been doing the wrong die, like a big dummy. But there you go. Swing uh, away. Wait, how does armor work? It's a black die instead of a purple. I just was pressing the wrong button because I'm an Okay, idiot. and you added the blue? Uh, blue die is added. Black die is added. Go nuts. Let's see That's how good. this is going to work. Yes, you hit him for six damage. And uh, does that pierce to my lawyers in chat? Does that pierce because it's two uh, things? Is that uh, two successes? Does that pierce trigger? Chat, does that pierce trigger? Because this is the end of HK if it does. Mm -hmm. We'll Pierce's find out. Triggers, I believe. A bad replica of the real <laughs> thing. Kill it. Uh, so it is a mark uh, two. It isn't like... Yeah, pierce, no pierce always triggers. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, yes, you hit and... Uh, you do a total of six total damage. Uh, two is the magnitude. Gotcha. Thank you. Uh, and HK crumples. Ooh. It's circuits shorting out as it falls to the ground and its red eyes go dark. Wow. I point to Oda All and I say, years. go get the ball. Mm -hmm. And then I go behind cover. From uh, Mr. Mr. What's his name? disruptor rifle <laughs> is there a, a place where i can be out of range of this disruptor rifle no the disruptor no. rifle mm -hmm. is, is is extreme range it, it goes you can hide behind wants. things and it will increase the difficulty but literally it is it, it can hit anywhere and it, it, it's a broken weapon it's like super powerful oh boy. You know, okay really actually you know what i yelled at oda shoot that guy <laughs> jesse's tweet <laughs> makes sense now Honestly. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I basically just go shoot that guy and I point to the guy with the disruptor rifle. <laughs> hey, Jesse. Uh, Cheezle jumps down into the center of the ring and goes after uh, Krella Vaz. And Cheezle is going to come around with his attack once again. We have to remove all these damn die. Uh, Jesse, did you see Twitter DM? I did, yes. Okay. Don't worry. I'm trying to get through this round. Uh, <laughs> Just making sure. Yeah, yeah. Cheezle uh, is going to try to attack once more. And not even succeed. Yes, Cheezle stabs Krella. And uh, she has five soak, though. And so uh, she takes one damage from him. And that is, uh, unfortunately, where we're going to have to stop for today. We'll continue this great battle next time. I can't wait uh, to murder the rest of this Wow, team. that went really fast. Yeah. That was, uh, we blew through time there. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, that was fun. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm, I, we are, we are uh, running out of time here, but uh, we won't do questions today. However, JP, do we have time to show some dope fan art before we peace out, before... We have to go. Do we have that ability right now? I have to wait for him to respond in some fashion. My server connection has been interrupted. I don't That's know what, what that means. Me too. Yeah. 
We got booted. They were they were done with us. Uh, do we have any time? Yeah. All right. Let's see some of this stuff. Um, I I have all the information here, so we can see who did what. Uh, I'm really excited to see. So this is things that I could find. If you've made any fan art and you're like, oh, I, I don't see it here, just like tag me and then like hashtag Echoes of Eternity so I can find it easier. Uh, because I had to like dig through my my Twitter to find it. Um, what do we got? How do I see these things, JP? How do I? Uh, surprise me! Surprise me! What do we got? Oh, they can't hear him at all. But he's gonna—he's going to uh, pick some at random. Oh yeah, here's Arnard made a gif of uh, Ulago being his best self. Uh oh. <laughs> Look, if you want Ulago and PR3 cross slash fiction, make it uh, do that thing. Yeah, so this is the... Oh, that's so, so anyway, good. I started Whoa. blasted. Nice. <laughs> there you go. Murdering away. <laughs> that's so great. true. Scourge of cave entrances. It's really good. Uh, what else do we have? What other fun things do we have? Let me see what else we can pull up. They can hear me now, so... Oh, okay, not just great. talking to the ghost. Uh, <laughs> are, I don't... Should, this... She's not wearing pants, Jesse. I don't. What do you She's want? She's 100% wearing pants. She has to be. She, that's like a thong. That's she's wearing a thong. Is this bannable? I don't know. It's not streaming to my channel. So <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't care. It's a butt. It's a butt. Don't get me. It's man. a butt. <laughs> this is you, you carrying oh that way back. It's a butt. It's a fine. It's a butt. This is all it's Sam's fault. This is all Sam's fault. This is Sam. Your, you, hang on. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mr. Cox made uh, a hot lady. Don't say Mr. Cox naked with <laughs> to wrestle. This has nothing to do with me. I was uh, derobed against my will. This no, is, you... right, well, I was. Uh, no, I was okay with it. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say I was you okay were with fine it. with it. Yeah, uh, but that still. was by uh, Stoic Tao made that one uh, uh, from the last episode. We have this image of Oda, which is quite nice. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, this is the artwork of the cover of uh, your theme. So whenever the show starts, you hear Oda's theme at the beginning. Uh, this is cover work uh, for her theme oh. whenever it plays. And the background is straight up just from Jedi uh, Fallen Order when you go to like level up your character. So that one's Dude, very neat. A print of that. It's pretty high image, uh, pretty high res image, so you probably could uh, you could get it. Here's uh, we'll do the covers that we have. Here's Dio's cover. Oh yeah, we have Dio's cover as well. Check it out. I forgot. This is Dio's cover. Oh, that's yeah. hot. Looking like a badass. With the pink saber or vibro sword. Yeah. yeah. I Looking love it. Very good. It look. It reminds me of a scene where Dio is there with Oda in the very beginning, mm -hmm. saying, "Come on." <laughs> Looks like it's from a Let's game book. Go. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then we'll we'll end on this one. We we can show the uh, mm -hmm. the other ones next week because I know we're running a little bit. Sure, short we on have time. plenty. Yeah, that's this fine. is uh, this is the what one are we you, ending on? Emperor. Mm -hmm. Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Totally up to no good shenaniganry, that guy. Really, really who, who made this one, uh, Jesse? Uh, mm. Nuclear Ghoul made that one. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, look, there's Cheezle Art. Cheezle Art's in there. Cheezle's in there. Do that. We'll just have to get to Cheezle next time if we're if we're out of time. Do shoutouts. I'll find the Cheezle one. Some of these are not PNGs, so it's a little bit harder. Do some shoutouts yeah, uh, real I'll quick. Yeah, all right. So let's really quickly go around this screen. Uh, Strippin', what are you up to this week? Uh, I'm gonna get a fucking crown in full guys if it's the last <laughs> thing I do. And that's all I you need you. to know. I and feel also, you, man. I... The new Ferrana Hero, the Warmonger, just came out, so I'll be probably doing a bit of both. Excellent. But I'll yeah, get a crown. I one day, maybe. He uh, won't. 
Anna, what is going on with you this week? Uh, let's see, Tuesday, we have a new episode of uh, Knights of Evening Star, which is a D&D high fantasy seventh level show on the official D&D channel, which is slash DND. And Thursday, I'll be back for this show. And other than that, I'm not sure. So watch my social media and you may find out. <laughs> so cryptic. I know, uh, I'm a very mysterious person. That's that's what I've heard <laughs> about you. Just like uh, mm -hmm. a magician. An internet right. magician. Bike, what's going on with you besides putting cats on treadmills? <laughs> um, probably going to finish off play in Hellpoint, which is probably the most Souls-like that's come close to Souls feeling that I've played yet. Awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Great level design. Pocket, what's going on with you? I'm going to get to hard mode in Terraria this week, and it's going to be a blast. Probably going <laughs> to die a lot and oh. lose all my stuff and have to go back and get it all back. But I'm also playing Overwatch. That's what I'm doing. And I'm putting together a desk. And yes. <laughs> That's I honestly knowledge. thought you were about to go and scene. Is what and, I, yeah, yeah, I was waiting for it. And scene. Uh, all guess. right. Well, that's it for us. Uh, yeah, I too, like Sam, I'm going to try for that crown. Um, this close, y'all. Is this close? But uh, that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll be back next week with another episode. More fan art. Hey, Cheezel! We have Cheezel before we go. There's Cheezel. One Look last cheese. Guy. Little, little furry creep. But that's <laughs> it. Uh, that is done by third. Sergio made that one. Uh, so we'll see y'all next week. Thank you so much. We got to get out of here. Bye, everybody. Bye. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots. We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Out of that time of video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Oh, thank God. I don't need pants now. Hey, JC. What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a professional broadcast. Yeah, now sing the music. It's a professional broadcast. Now here's to ask and answer one simple question. It's a broadcast. You got